quarterback Dak Prescott have a mutual understanding of his contract situation uh, with no offers from Dallas, despite him being in a contract year. Owning owner Jerry Jones said, quote, we are where we are, locked and loaded for this year. No indication that a deal for Dak is coming. We're discussing all of that on The Blitz. Joe Reinagle. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minnix. They go back to big day as Super Bowl champions. Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagle. I'm Jason Minnix. <laughs> what a day. Oh. Holy cow, what a day. Uh, I mean, we have a whole show planned. You know, we spend hours putting together hours. A, a, a great rundown as we get things ready to go. And then Ian Rappaport drops a bombshell. Wow. On Twitter as we're about ready to come on. So. You know, kind of what we had planned today, crumple up that piece of paper <laughs> and play old Michael Jordan. Oh, man. It, I tell you what, this is like Christmas in March. Do you buy it, though? Do you buy it? Well, with Jerry, you never know whether to buy it or not. I, I mean, I, I, now, a couple of things. First off, Ian Rappaport's tweet about an hour ago. Cowboys and quarterback Dak Prescott have a mutual understanding of his contract situation. With no offers from Dallas, despite him being in a contract year. Owner Jerry Jones said, quote, we are where we are, locked and loaded for this year. No indication a deal is coming. Does that really set him up to test free agency? Wow. Or is this Jerry negotiating in the media? Well, it, it could very well be that. Or is it maybe the Cowboys behind the scenes looking to try and trade Dak somehow, some way? Um, but I think what th this makes at least a little, it, it makes no sense. First of all, let me just say that. Okay. No sense at all, but it makes sense in the fact that we haven't heard of anything from the Cowboys, from Dak Prescott, no, you know, movement at all on a new deal, a restructuring anything at all. And you said something yesterday that just kind of came back to me. Maybe Dak's just tired of the circus. It's possible. It, it may be. Although, uh, Dak grew up as a Cowboy fan. I don't care. And, <laughs> you know, I wonder if he would rather go play for an organization's fan base that would appreciate what he brings. Maybe, maybe that's, that's in play. Keep in mind, it was a couple of weeks ago at that charity gala thing that he was doing where he said he's not worried about his contract. He thought a deal was going to get done. Yeah. It, it will get done. The idea of Dak playing this year without a contract, playing and then becoming a free agent, whether he re-signs with Dallas, whether he goes somewhere else, Dak Prescott knows he's going to make about $60 million a year. Sure. It just depends on where that direct deposit is coming from. Is it coming from Jerry Jones or is it coming from another team? Uh, Mike McCarthy, one year left on his deal. Dak Prescott, one year left on his deal. Holy crap. Everybody <laughs> that does this for a business should send Jerry Jones some tip treats. I tell you what, this is why I love covering the Dallas Cowboys on a regular basis. You never know from one day to the next exactly what's going to happen when it comes to Jerry Jones. Anything is possible any given day, and I love you, Jerry Jones. Now, it, it Pledge, I, I, I haven't seen it, but find me the audio of Jerry Jones saying, we are where we are locked and loaded for this year. I, I, I mean, they're at the owners' meetings, and I realize some of these are done where there's cameras and microphones rolling and others – where you're doodling on a scratch pad like Jerry Jones does. <laughs> so I don't know if there's audio out there, but I know that's the report from Ian Rappaport. Oh, now, my goodness. That said, this does fall in line with everything that Jerry Jones has said publicly mm -hmm. since the end of the season. What he said in Indianapolis while sitting on his bus, that they don't have to get a deal done with Dak Prescott this offseason to go about their business. He did say they, that. They, they don't have to. 
Um, there's not urgency on the part of the Dallas Cowboys, although we as Cowboy fans and those that cover the Cowboys kind of feel like there's urgency because if you get that deal done and you extend them, you free up a lot of money. Uh huh. But Jerry said in Indianapolis, they don't need to free up that money to get their work done. Interesting stuff. And and look, Jerry could change his mind tomorrow and say, oh, that's not what I meant. It's kind of like with the all-in deal, right? Uh, we, we all read it one way. And uh, Jerry meant it another, obviously. So, uh, and I, and and even if you go back and say the all in was just getting our guys done. Yep. Well, now this shoots that out of the water. Well, I mean, I, I mean, they're all in on the contracts. I mean, we're locked and loaded for this year. Um, he knows he's got Dak Prescott under contract for this year, and m- m- maybe. And, and again, this is what is so damn funny when it comes to the Dallas Cowboys and their fan base. So many people, hey, man, uh, you know, Dak isn't it. He's got to go. Now now this, oh, crap, we can't let Dak leave. (laughs) Um, What what are you doing, Jerry? Jerry is saying, go prove it. I said the other day, Jerry Jones said the other day, he thinks Dak Prescott can be one of those quarterbacks that have yet to win a Super Bowl that could actually go win one. He did say that. He just didn't say with what team. He did not. Um, and, and, And... you're right. He didn't say with what team, but Dak Prescott is still a Super Bowl capable quarterback. It's it's just funny because I can read that tweet and you could say that in so many ways. This does not mean that Jerry Jones has said, screw it. You got to prove it to me this year and we'll talk after the season next year. But it certainly feels that way. Well, they look, they can talk throughout the year. Yeah. What, but what Jerry's saying is, hey, we're locked and loaded. That says to me, and again, it, however you translate Jerry Jones isms, but f- locked and loaded and ready to go means that we're this is how we're going in. This is how we're getting it done. And that means Dak is going to play on his contract this year. That's what it means to me. Again, and I say that today. Tomorrow, Jerry could say something completely different and say, I didn't mean that. Here's what I really meant. And it, it, Steven's spinning it this way and that way. And um, and we're all over the place. But well, as it sits right now, it looks like Dak's going to play out his contract. And quite frankly, I'm good with that. Quite frankly, <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I'm I, giddy. Are you kidding? I love it. The, the idea of you go win this thing, right? You might win the Super Bowl and still play for another team next year. You might. Year. Or you might get seven wins and, you know, go play somewhere else next year. But it does make me wonder if something else is in play because there's no way that Jerry Jones is looking as he always has a five-year plan, which pisses me off as, uh-huh, a, uh-huh. as a football fan. You've got, you know, a, a three-year plan I can live with. A five-year plan, Eh, that doesn't make sense. You know, five-year plan for your household and paying off stuff. Like, we all live on a five-year plan, I suppose. Right, right, right? sure. You can't live that way in the NFL world in the salary cap era when every three years you can get deals redone. So give me a three-year plan. I just have said forever, and it's partly because Jerry Jones has literally said this to my face, the idea of the time spent between Troy and Tony and all those quarterbacks, he never wants to go through that again. So is he willing to roll the dice on Dak Prescott leaving without a legitimate replacement in place? That to me is the underlying doodles that you're going to see on Jerry Jones's notepad right now. Is that really a path at 80, whatever years old he is that he wants to go down? Look, Jerry Jones is is all about making money. He's going to continue to do that. He has said too to both of us. And, and multiple times, I, I, there's not a, an amount of money he wouldn't pay to win another Super Bowl. He's also said that to our face. And and I just don't know. But something rings true. John Mishota, when he was on with us last Friday from The Athletics, said that the rumors that Jerry Jones was so pissed off with that Green Bay game that he's like, screw it. I, I'm not paying these guys. I'm not going to give them more money for failure. And that seems to be the consensus. And if if you go with Ian Rappaport today, it makes perfect sense that, look, it's Dak can't get it done. He hasn't gotten it done. Why am I going to pay this guy now another three, $400 million uh, to not win a Super Bowl? And if you're, 
and if you're Dak Prescott, you know that you're getting that money, whether it's from Dallas sure. or it's another organization. I mean, here is a guy that just watched Kirk Cousins sign another contract with the Atlanta Falcons, and they're excited to have him, right? If you're Dak Prescott, and I'm just going with what Dak's brother has said, because <laughs> Dak always says the right things, you know? Uh, the brother on that podcast, Tad Prescott, was saying that he says a lot of things on social media to troll fans. You you just wonder if, if, how much of this is Dak Prescott. Because again, when it comes to that contract extension, both sides have to want to sign that deal. Yep. Makes you wonder, does Dak want to sign that extension? Or did Dak go in and say, here's this team, that team, that team. I will sign off on that no trade clause if you can make a deal happen there. Ooh. Whatever teams those Ooh. happen to be, I could see Dak saying that. Look, if you don't want to pay me, here's three teams I'll go to. I'll relinquish the no trade clause. And if you can work a deal, work a deal. Um, how uh, how friendly was Dak with Dan Quinn? The Washington Commanders could use a quarterback about now. Yeah. Do they have anything to trade for him? That's the thing. That's the deal. Not only are they going to have somebody's going to have to take the money. Jerry is going to be frugal enough that look, you're going to have to uh, more than a fourth round pick. Yeah, more than a fourth round pick. So uh, all of those things are in play, and we could sit here and speculate all day long, and that's the beauty of it, <laughs> and the fun of it. But it looks like they're in an impasse at the moment, and uh, there's only a couple of ways out of this. You either play. Or you get traded, or wow, or or they end up kissing and making up at some point in time, which is certainly a possibility. Absolutely, because there is nothing in that that actually says Jerry has said you got to play out this year, and there will be no contract extension. There's not one yet. There's not one yet. No. And so as it stands right now, what Jerry said is accurate. We're locked and loaded for this year. Does that actually clear the path that Dak for sure is going to become a free agent next year? That, no. no. Um, is it setting up that's a possibility, maybe a greater possibility today than yesterday? Possibly. Now, Ian Rappaport with the NFL Network, Jane Slater with the NFL Network a couple of weeks ago suggested that, yeah, that deal probably gets done in August. Yeah. Before the start of the season, probably out there in Oxnard at training camp, which made me think they'll get this deal done on his birthday. Which makes no sense to me. Although when you listen to Stephen Jones, and we'll hear from him coming up a little bit later, that again, the Cowboys are not all in in free agency. They don't give a damn about free agency. They're going to draft and then develop in the same old thing, banging their head against the wall again. That's what they're going to do. So if, if you really wanted to be a player in free agency, you would have gotten this deal done. Something would have happened. If you're not, the way Stephen Jones says they're not, then an August uh, possibility is certainly a possibility. But again, both sides have to want this to get done. And I'm of the opinion now, just reading the tea leaves, that Dak Prescott just might be in that mindset of, screw you, I'm tired of the circus. I'd rather go play for the Las Vegas Raiders. Well, and, and the other part of that too is maybe Jerry Jones is just simply at the fact that I love you, man. You've had eight years. Yeah. You got one more chance to go win this thing. That's Just like it. Mike McCarthy. You got one more chance to go win this thing. Um, and if you don't win, man, this has been fun. We got to move on. We got to move on. But how it, do you it, move it, on? That's it, the it, thing. Well, and, and again, that's uh, you know, the, the, uh, the ultimatum, right? How do you move on? Well, you work your plan and, and plan your work. I know that's a, an old cliche, but... If you know that this is it for Dak Prescott, or you think this could be it for Dak Prescott, while the draft this year is chock full of offensive linemen, in that first or second round, are you looking at a quarterback? Are you looking at one of those quarterbacks that, you know, you look at the various mock drafts, and let's say, uh, because we all love the uh, players that come from the University of Michigan, you know, <laughs> their, their quarterback could go anywhere from number three to number 24, if you will. Their right? quarterback is overrated. Okay. Well, Let's just get I, I mean, that you say on the overrated, table. and some people say completely underrated. He might be the surprise of the draft. He's I, overrated. I mean, yeah, you know, I, I mean, so I, again, he might be, 
you know, the second quarterback off the board, the third quarterback off the board, he might be the sixth quarterback off the board. If he's sitting there at 24, does Jerry say, I need a linebacker, a lineman? Or, well, there's a quarterback right there. Oh, he could. Because I mean, if, if he really, if Jerry really thinks Dak is done, he's got one more uh-huh. year, then you have to seriously look at a quarterback high in the draft this year because you can roll the dice with a free agent or mm-hmm. maybe try to work a trade. But you've got to start, as the Cowboys love to say, draft and develop. You know what, what would be ironic? And I remember a conversation that you, me, RJ Ochoa had, and there were a couple other people sitting there looking out at the beach at training camp, talking about Justin Herbert. Oh, good Lord. How in the world would that Here make? Wouldn't that be a coincidence if, if the go. Cowboys just called the Chargers and said, hey, you know, let's uh, let's pull a little swap here between Dak and Justin Herbert. All right, so you just want to give me somebody different to be mad at. I'm just saying. I, you just well, want to give me somebody different to be mad at. It, well, he's, he's a younger different to be mad at. I mean, but money is the same. I'm just saying. Mo- I mean, just saying. I, I'm just throwing it out at, there because right now. At some point, you want to say you're right uh, when you're wrong. <laughs> Dude, I'm at always some right. Point, <laughs> the hell you are. At some point, <laughs> at some point, of all the people, that probably is the. Uh, I least. just I'm just throwing it out there. You could name sure. it. You could put any yeah. quarterback's Absolutely. name in there. Absolutely. Let's put spaghetti against the wall. Yeah. You know, Trey Lance. Ultra Cowboy on our YouTube page. Have you said that? He said, let's give Lance. No. How about no with that? What, Lance? Trey Lance. Well, you got to give him a shot. What? No, you don't. Oh, well, you do. I mean, a shot of fireball, a it's shot a of Jameson. Shot, yeah. You know. This is the, this is best day ever (laughs) well until tomorrow you guys want to react obviously a lot of you are already commenting on the youtube channel you can watch their san antonio sports stars youtube channel make sure you subscribe and like when you're out there watching and then also um you could dial up 210-656-ESPN 656-3776 on twitter at joe reinagle 210 tweet at me at jason minix more on this and I don't know, kickoff rules. <laughs> I mean, kickoffs, kickoffs. Uh, yeah. Well, Dak scores a lot, so there should be lots of kickoffs in Dallas. Absolutely, yeah, of course. We'll, we'll talk about that coming up here on the Blitz you know, on ninety four one San Antonio Sports Star. This kind of news is the kind of news that can just kind of kick some Cowboys' teeth out. And if that happens to you. I've got the answer for you. It's called Doctors Implants. You know, Doctors Implants are board-certified oral and facial surgeons. Well, they're ready to transform your smile. You can say goodbye to the frustration of traditional dentistry and welcome a brighter future. Look, don't let old-school dentistry hold you back any longer. Embrace your future with full-mouth dental implants at Doctors Implants. You can check them out at doctorsimplants.com, but here's the kicker. When you give them a call at 210 610-0000. 640-0000. Tell them I sent you Joe Reinigle from the Blitz. You're going to get a complimentary consultation and CT scan. That's right. Your journey to that perfect smile begins at Doctors Implants. So don't wait. Call them now. The number again for Doctors Implants, 210-640-0000. 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star is your home for college basketball's national championship. On their way to their 12th national title game. 68 teams, Sweet 16, Elite 8, the Final Four, one winner takes all. Hear it all on your home for March Madness. 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star, presented by Westwood One. When a cold keeps you up, try NyQuil Severe Honey Flavor. The nighttime, sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, fever, honeylicious, best sleep with a cold medicine. Powerful cold and flu symptom relief with a dreamy honey taste to give your body the rest it needs to get that cold gone. Wake up refreshed, feeling relieved after enjoying the delicious flavor of NyQuil Severe Honey. NyQuil Severe Honey flavor, use as directed. Keep out of reach of children. eBay Motors is here for the ride. 120,000 miles of night drives, daily commutes, and who knows how many. Are we there yet? Through countless fixes, elbow grease, and a new radiator, you kept your ride alive. 
With eBay Motors, you have over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. World Championship Boxing is coming to San Antonio. Freddie Roach, legendary trainer of rising star Gio Cabrera, will be headlining the boxing event of the year at the Boeing Tech Port Arena. Stars like Justin Figueroa, Shariah Moreau, along with several Texas fighters are set to light up the ring. Don't miss this epic showdown. Saturday, March 30th. Doors open at 5 p.m. Get your tickets now at dmpboxing.com or call 210-636-99 for details. Brought to you by Everlast, Quintana Rum, and Desi Martinez Promotions. Puro San Antonio football is back at the Alamo Dome. Join the herd and watch your Brahmas in the best seats at the best prices. Single season and group tickets are available now. Don't miss any Brahmas action this season led by legendary head coach Wade Phillips. The Brahmas kick off the season March 31st against the D.C. Defenders in the Alamo Dome. Let's pack the dome. Experience the excitement. Head to theufl.com to buy your Brahmas tickets today. That's theufl.com. Vamos Brahmas. Ad paid for by the Sentinel Group. Attention Marines, military personnel, families, and contractors who were stationed at Camp Lejeune. Were you present at Camp Lejeune between August 1953 and December of 1987? You may be entitled to significant compensation. For nearly 34 years, those in the Marine Corps' base Camp Lejeune were exposed to contaminated drinking water, resulting in devastating injuries, including several forms of cancer, adverse birth outcomes, Parkinson's disease, and more. North Carolina's procedural laws have prevented victims from getting the justice they deserve. But passage of the Camp Lejeune Justice Act of 2022 would allow you or a loved one to file lawsuits seeking compensation for illnesses and injuries linked to the toxic water. Call today for your free consultation. 800-230-0194. Let our experienced attorneys fight to get you the compensation you deserve and you pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor call 800-230-0194 that's 800-230-0194 again 800-230-0194 with progressive snapshot you could save on auto insurance rates by driving safely which is great because you're rarely rewarded for just being you ever get rewarded for being left-handed no you get to use weird scissors your reward for being a capricorn cold birthday that conflict with the holidays and your reward for quickly responding to every work email more emails but with snapshot even left-handed capricorns with proper email etiquette could get rewarded for good driving so download the progressive app today progressive casualty insurance company affiliates snapshot not available in all states or from all agents ulta beauty semi-annual beauty event is happening now unleash your love for beauty with 50 percent off daily beauty steals on hair skin makeup and fragrance shop your favorite brands like tarte and fenty beauty by rihanna plus grab perfect hair care pairs from brands like redkin and olaplex and check out new arrivals from brands like charlotte tilbury and dyson shop the ulta beauty semi-annual beauty event online in store or try pickup today now through march 28th Ulta Beauty. The possibilities are beautiful. Conditions apply. Check out the Jim Rome Show, weekdays and noon. If you're San Antonio, there are benefits that come along with it. I will cut you to the front of the line. We're going to hike the return. On 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. You got to forgive Minix. He's a little choked up today. Uh, maybe a little. He's a, he's a little sad, a little uh, choked up. Well, not really. Um, um. Dude, I love you, Dak. <laughs> I just wish there was actually clarity from Jerry Jones on that. When because, has there ever been clarity from Jerry Jones? Well, I mean, I, I mean, you look at the statement and the tweet from – from me and and the only thing clear is what we've already known Dak Prescott is under contract with the Dallas Cowboys for this upcoming season beyond that we have no idea uh that tweet, everyone assumed he was going to get a contract extension again in the old journalism axiom when yes. you assume what uh -huh. does that mean no I hear you all right so I I, I mean there really still is no clarity. Mike McCarthy, we have clarity. He's got one year. He's got he's in a prove it year. And Mike McCarthy doesn't seem to be bothered by that. Man, the allergies you. in this room. Um <laughs> Mike McCarthy doesn't seem to be bothered bothered by that. According to him yesterday, he's he's done this a couple of times, right? Where he's in Green Bay. 
Yeah. You know, <laughs> coach the final year of his <laughs> contract. Um, but the idea that there seems to be something, something was told to Ian Rampapur. Uh -huh. Now, I'm not seeing Todd Archer tweet about it. I'm not seeing about some of the regular cowboy beat writers tweet about it. Ian Rappaport has great sources. He does. He is great at what he does. But I do want to see what some of those that cover the Cowboys on a daily basis, that have incredible inside sources with the Dallas Cowboys, what are they saying? Well, you know that uh, they saw this just like we did and went, oh, bleep. Yeah. And uh, they're they're looking around right now. I mean, uh, this was a quote, so I'm assuming that either Rappaport uh, was just talking to Jerry without a camera, uh, or there is some video running around somewhere. But you're right, nobody else has this yet. Um, but, I mean, he, Rappaport's one of those guys that's got a pretty good track record with stuff like this. Well, again, if it's Rappaport, if it's uh, Shefty, um, you know, they're, 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 you know, a handful of those guys. I mean, I think about what, you know, if you're watching Get Up this morning and Jeff Darlington and, you know, what he was saying on ESPN after Mike McCarthy had talked. And, and again, the idea of Dak Prescott playing for another team seems far-fetched. It seems far-fetched that as much as Jerry and Steven has constantly said that they love him and they want him. Dak Prescott saying recently He's not worried about his contract, and he knows the deal will get done. What has changed in the last couple of days? I mean, would it surprise anybody that Jerry lowballed an offer? No. Uh, but according to this, they haven't even sent an offer. They haven't offered anything. Which, that is surprising to a degree, because we know they've been talking. You know, they converted some, some money into a bonus recently to free up $14.58, it feels like. But, it, you know, at, at the same time, we know there was conversation. You know, uh, Stephen talked about it. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, uh, Dak makes the news with a $100 million lawsuit. Yeah, well, we've talked to him. Baby was born. Yeah, we've talked to him. I mean, you know, there's communication there. So did something happen in the last week or so where Dak has said, I want out. I'm not signing anything. Um, or... If you want me to say, I know this is market value, but I'm going way above. You know, here's my comps. I want 5% more than everybody else, which I don't see happening, right? Um, and, and again, with this, this might all be Jerry's master game plan. You guys keep talking about what we're not doing this offseason. Let's, let's, let's start talking about next year. You know, right now, let's just screw it. Let's, let's talk next year because this year, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this oh, year yeah. is looking ugly. And if you're Dak Prescott, sincerely, I mean, you're looking around, you're seeing the, the lack of activity. Are you going to have a couple of rookies on your offensive line? I mean, you're going to have to play behind that. And look, if this is the case and this is Dak saying, I'm just going to play, that's a hell of a gamble. Because if you get hurt this year playing, well, then your, your dollar amount might be significantly less after that. I will say this, though. Dak Prescott has done that. Sure. Dak Prescott has done that a couple of times when he didn't have a bank account the size that he has now. I mean, he gambled on himself not once but twice on the franchise tag he and did. snapped a leg in the process. So, uh, and, and he still won betting on himself. So, Dak's the kind of guy, since we're going to Vegas uh, Wednesday night, tomorrow night, uh -huh. you know, he's playing blackjack and hitting on 16, right? <laughs> I, I mean, he will bet on himself. Well, who does it? Everybody I, does I mean, that. He, Maybe he's, he, he's splitting he, kings. He, I mean, he well, he, he <laughs> might he might do that too, you know? Um, so I, I, I don't know that Dak is worried about the injury clause, especially with the bank account that he has now. He's he's He can gamble. He can. He's got plenty of money. He's got life-changing money. And, and look, what do you make? Twenty five million for both of those franchise tags back to back. So 50 million bucks. Wasn't like he was playing for pennies. Yeah. I mean, twenty five million dollars is not a lot in this day and time in the NFL. But I mean, it, it, it was a lot of money. So he was getting paid. And, but I understand what you're talking about. And maybe Dak does. Maybe he's, he doesn't want to go through the negotiations. Let's play football. And let's see where things end at the end of the season. Well, but I, I, t I tend to lean a little more toward. Jerry just being pissed off and another failure. I mean, look, 
This game against Green Bay was a complete embarrassment, more so than I think some of the others have been. When you look, though, at Mike McCarthy and what he said at the owners' meetings in Florida, and I, I, I don't know if it was last night or this morning, whatever it was, but it's all about complementary football, offense and defense. And the defense didn't hold up their end of the bargain against Green Bay. And the offense certainly didn't hold up theirs. But that defense was that bad. It was bad. And so if you're if you're analyzing that loss, and Dak Prescott was not good. I am not trying to sound like I'm making an, an excuse for number four. But that game was out of hand before Dak had a chance to really get anything done. And, and again, and I say that partly because Green Bay scored on that opening drive. And... Then on a big third down, CD had a perfect pass that was a drop, then a punt. Then then it was 14 to nothing. And then CD had another drop. And then it was 21 to nothing. And then you had the pick six. Uh, and at that point, it's 27 to nothing or whatever it was. Um, Wasn't there an interception before the pick six? I believe there was. There were two in that first half. And I think one was before that that set Green Bay up in a pretty good spot. But when you look, when you look at it, though, Dak wasn't great, but Dak wasn't the reason they were that far behind. Everybody as a collective in that Cowboys game was awful. The sure. defense was bad. They had a bad plan. They didn't execute well. And when you listen to Mike McCarthy talk about complimentary football and the way things are designed in his mind, the defense gets stops and the offense goes and scores points, right? That, that's, that's the obvious. This Cowboys team was built to play with the lead. Yeah. And when they get behind, they're screwed. They, they are screwed, and they got behind, and they were screwed. So, and I think that's part of the reason why you've seen a lot of guys on the defensive side walk, including Dan Quinn, but a lot of those players. Because uh, you look at some of these contracts, like the ones that Hankins got. My goodness, the Cowboys have that money. They just didn't want that guy. They just, they just didn't want that guy. But you wonder, if Quinn doesn't get a job, He's the defensive coordinator. I don't think so. They're not firing I, Dan I, Quinn. I think they would have fired Dan Quinn. I, I just I don't see it. I, I don't see I, that. Somebody happening. had to be the fall guy. Two years ago it was Kellen Moore. This year it was going to be Dan Quinn, whether he left on his own or got fired. And next year, Mike McCarthy, if you don't get it done, there's going to be a new head coach. And then and perhaps a new quarterback. And perhaps a new quarterback. This was Mike McCarthy on complimentary football. You know, at, at the end of the day, you know, we need to be a better complimentary football team. You know, when the, when the defense isn't going well, the offense needs to pick up for them. And, and no difference when the offense isn't going well, the defense has to pick up for them. You know, I think this, if you look at our last game, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of complimentary football going on. <laughs> there wasn't any football <laughs> going on, Mike, except for the guys in the yellow pants. They played some pretty decent football. Yep. Uh, the, the drive chart for the Cowboys in that game, uh, six plays punt, three plays interception at the Dallas 13-yard line. Uh, punt, interception, finally a touchdown. Yeah. And then the second half wasn't bad, but at that point it didn't matter. Green Bay went touchdown, punt, touchdown, 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 punt, punt, and the game. Yeah, so see, that, that that first interception put the defense in a bad spot. Yep. I mean, it's at the 13-yard line. Yep. So that you have to blame Dak for, not, right? So he gave them uh, – he, he virtually gave them 14 points in that first half, I would say. Yeah. But again, at that point, you know, that, that pick six, the game was essentially over anyway. I mean, it, it was essentially over anyway. The chances of a comeback weren't weren't great. Not the way the Cowboys were playing on either side of the uh -huh. ball. Uh-huh. I look, I I I think Jerry's pissed and he's sending a message and he's saying, I'm not gonna pay you another three hundred million dollars to at least at this point in time to lose in the first round of the playoffs, not only lose in the first round of the playoffs, and you can blame the defense, you can blame C.D. Lamb, you can blame everybody, but it always comes down to who's calling the signals. It, it always does. Mm -hmm. That's the guy that's the face of your franchise, and it, it, he is the guy that's going to take the blame. And in this case, he's taking it. And Jerry's clearly, at least today, March 26, 2024, saying, I'm not going to pay you another $300 million to be the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Then again, you listen to Stephen Jones, and uh, Cowboys feel really good about their roster as it sits right now on the 26th day of March. We'll get into that 
coming up here on the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. If you're a business owner, a manager, a club leader, and you need your logo on any kind of gear, get into Sammy's Embroidery and Printing down on San Pedro. If you need caps done, Sam has over 25,000 caps and more than 75 color combinations on display in his showroom, including the popular Richardson 112 style trucker caps. If you need t-shirts screen printed, go see Sam. If you need your company logo on a golf shirt, a fishing shirt, a dress shirt, go see Sam. He's got all the big name brands like North Face, Eddie Bauer, Nike, Travis Matthew, Port Authority, to name a few. Uh, Nobody has better prices, and Sammy is the only company in Texas that offers one-day turnaround. Call Sammy's Embroidery and Printing. 210-824-3900, 210-824-3900, 824-3900, or better yet, go by that massive showroom on San Pedro. It's a mile inside Loop 410, next to Big Lots across from McDonald's, or check the website, samsembroidery.com, for Sammy's Embroidery Club. Nothing beats March Madness. The pure sound of a swish, the rattle of a slam dunk, the fans on their feet for the big moments, and the just keeps getting better until a national champion is crowned. Hear all the action with Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the NCAA men's and women's tournaments right here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star and San Antonio's ESPN 1250. Heard the catchphrase that's sweeping the nation? Jackson, hue yeah! People are saying Jackson, hue yeah to Jackson Hewitt because they love saving money on tax prep. Do you love saving money? Then switch to Jackson Hewitt today and pay less than last year. Thousands of people have already made the switch. Why haven't you? Stop waiting and start filing. You won't get a better deal or a better catchphrase. All together now. Jackson Hugh, yeah! Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Go for it! Take your base! The only thing worse than a pitcher running out of gas on the mound is your old phone running out of storage for your photos in the stands. Goodbye, home run! Switch to Verizon and get a great deal on a new iPhone 15 Pro with tons of storage for all the ballpark picks you want. Just trade in your iPhone, any model, in any condition, so you'll feel like you're winning even when your team's not. Trade in any iPhone in any condition for a great deal on iPhone 15 Pro with Unlimited Ultimate and get iPad and Apple Watch SE with eligible service plan, only on Verizon. Folks, quality is a huge deal. It's what I look for when I recommend something to my listeners. It means you can depend on it. Quality means it won't let you down. It's something you can be proud of. Well, that's the definition of a Kinetico water softener. With other water softener brands, you just never know. Maybe they work half the time or they're just plain junk. A Kinetico water softener is up to 80% more efficient than competing models and will be the last water softener you'll ever own. That's because you're buying quality and it's backed up with an outstanding 10-year warranty too. If you're ready to enjoy all the benefits that come with quality, bring home Kinetico. At Connecticut, at line at ConnecticutSA.com. That's 656 P U R E or ConnecticutSA.com. And tell them Dave Ramsey sent you. The last water softener you'll ever own. Call 656 Pure Connecticut. Hard work and dreams lead to success, but easily filing your taxes with TurboTax and Credit Karma doesn't hurt either. Make filing taxes a walk in the park because we'll pre-fill your info for you so you can file quickly and confidently. Winner! Get the peace of mind that comes with expert help. Let's go! Being powered by TurboTax means you're backed by the leading tax preparer, and we'll show you all your filing options up front so there are no surprises. File your taxes on Intuit Credit Karma today. Expert help not available with all products. Guaranteed details available at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. At BetUS.com, why do we care about a college basketball tournament every March? Where bets mean everything? Because it's March Mania, where glory triumphs and anything can happen. Where underdogs can make or break our hearts. Because it's March Mania, where brackets are broken and buzzers are beaten. And there's always been a sports book there for you and your best buds. Because it's March Mania. BetUS has been with you through 30 marches together. And like any good six man, we've always had your back. And because it's March, BetUS.com is matching the mania with a mad offer. Back to back to back, 125% sign up bonus on your first three deposits. And the extra confidence that comes from a 10% gambler's insurance. Because anything can happen during March mania. Bet U.S. Sportsbook and Casino, 
where the game begins. Get started today. Nigel, what's up with your hair? Joel, prices are insane these days. I'm cutting my own hair. Folks, nobody likes paying high prices. Good news. For a limited time, all quarter moon 14 seer AC systems up to three tons are installed in your house for only $69.99. Now is the ideal time to take care of your home at the lowest price of the year. Joel, I like saving money. I'm an influencer. Everywhere I go, people hand me change and say, bless your heart. Quarter moon plumbing, heat, and AC. 210-651-5899. License number N160004. DACLA 0074345. There's never any FOMO with the iHeartRadio app. You won't ever have to miss out on your favorite shows and contests with this radio station again. Radio 24-7-365. 365. We're here when you want us. Stay connected and listen anywhere when you download the free iHeartRadio app. <laughs> Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at sasportstar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win an incredible $1 million prize at sasportstar.com. Is anybody actually still in the running for that million dollars? I I don't think so. (laughs) And I'm not sure what I saw late last night on ESPN, if it was the men's bracket or the the women's bracket, but there's like three perfect brackets at ESPN.com. Is there really? Three. But at, at the my fact de- that there's three surprises three. the hell out of and me. a gazillions that have been submitted three. Wow! But I, I, that might have been the women's bracket. I, I'm not really sure. It was <laughs> you know you roll over at three in the morning and then they're doing Sports Center and I heard that and I looked at it and went three three three. Wow! Wow! <laughs> three lucky people. That's incredible. Now you could be a lucky person a little bit later on in about an hour. We are giving away VIP tickets to Taste of the North Side. Whoa. It's time to start thinking Fiesta. Yes. And I know my favorite Fiesta event is Taste of the North Side, the elevated Fiesta event for foodies. Blitz is going to be live at Taste of the North Side, hosted by Brighton Center, presented work, by ATB. Work, 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 work. Thursday, April 18th, <laughs> Security Service Event Center. Now, we do have a pair of VIP tickets that we will give away today before 4 o'clock. Wow. If you don't win the tickets, you can always buy them. If you use promo code STAR Mm -hmm. when you're buying them at tasteofthenorthside.org, it'll save you $25 a ticket. Nice. Yeah. Promo Uh, code STAR. I tell you what, if you've been, you know. If you've never been, you need to go. I mean, that's got to be a bucket list thing because, I mean, it's it's the best fiesta event there is. It it really is. And they've got the cleanest bathrooms of any fiesta event, too. (laughs) Good food, good drink. It is uh it, it's it's the one and only, man. Cannot wait. My favorite fiesta event. Again, yeah, we've no got doubt. VIP tickets to give away for that coming up before four o'clock today. So while we think about the Cowboys and what may or may not happen with their quarterback, Stephen Jones at the owners meetings have talked, Mike McCarthy has talked, all the all the various cowboy. Uh, people that you want to hear from that don't really tell you anything. They, they've they all said words, right? Um, although, Stephen, in reality, I mean, you know, as, as you put two and two together and you hear from Mike McCarthy, who does say things very different than Jerry Jones, and when it comes to personnel, like what you're going to do with uh, Tyler Smith, is it going to be a guard or a tackle? Don't listen to Jerry. Listen to the coach. Right. Um, you know, it, it's amazing how different, like, have they had a conversation about this? Like, right, like, honestly, do they know that uh, one is saying one thing and the other is saying the other? Probably. Is, is that a plan? You think Jerry's going to be outlandish and then here comes Steven to kind of rein things in. And then Jerry again says something outlandish. And then here comes Steven riding to the rescue. Who knows? It could be a plan. Yeah, I mean, doodle here, doodle there, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Tyler Smith going to play? Where does the pen stop? Ah, oh, tackle. Yeah. Um, but in reality, they've been very slow moving to this point in free agency. And when I say slow, they are trailing a turtle at this point <laughs> in the free agency race. Although Stephen Jones, you know, says, you know, I mean, I don't know why you guys are freaking out. We're never very active early on in free agency you know we've never been real active in free right agency. but you, you you know we've, stuff, we've yeah. done things and we're not through you know we'll see where uh where we end up on some of these things in terms of uh, uh you know in terms of what makes sense for us as we see what players um, might be available out there and uh, if they make sense for us I mean, as we all know this 
free agency thing seems to be condensed every year. More and more guys seem seems to be one big, you know, run in the first three to five days. And then, you know, as you've seen lately, there's not a lot of activity out there. But, you know, sometimes guys just have to get their hands around where they want to be and what their financial situation is based on how the market's working out. Interesting. I mean, look, that's the way they do it, right? I mean, it's the way they do it. They're not going to spend a lot of money. And they draft and they develop. And that's what the Cowboys do. And they don't pay. They don't like to overpay. And I don't know. Jerry has said things over the last couple of weeks, you know, like I've learned from the Zeke deal. That makes me a better general manager. <laughs> Does it? Um, I've learned from my mistakes, right? Uh, All right. Well, cool. Um, the reality is, Stephen's right. There hasn't been a lot of activity the last couple of days. And now you see the different publications putting out the list of the best free agents that are available. And I think what you just heard from Stephen there, you know, uh, especially towards the end there when he said uh, where they want to be and what their financial situation is based on how the market is working. Well, I know you said you wanted this. Ain't nobody paying you that because you still don't have a job. Uh -huh. So we're willing to give you this. Uh, does that change what your financial situation is? I mean, you can value yourself at one thing, but if nobody's willing to pay you that, then maybe you've overvalued yourself. In and, and Jerry and Steven are, are shopping for the deals. That also tells me, you know, we kept talking about at the beginning of free agency, Cowboys, if they redo the deal with Dak, they can create all kinds of money, right? RJ Ochoa has said that on the morning huddle, I don't know how many times. Yes. You know, Cowboys cry broke. They don't have the money because of the cap. They can create the money, of course, easily. Yes. If they wanted to. They haven't wanted it to yet. All the guys that they lost, and I say all, the majority of the guys that have left for other teams, if the Cowboys wanted it to keep them, they could have. But also when I hear Steven say something like that, the urgency of redoing Dak's deal to create money has gone because the guys that would require big money to free up, they're already signed with other teams. So redoing Dak's deal now, there isn't a pressure to get it done because they're not going to miss out on one of those high price free agents that is already signed somewhere else. Well, it's true, but I mean, if you're going the way it appears that they're going today with your head coach as a lame duck, your quarterback perhaps is a lame duck. Um, it just makes sense to me to do something different, to go all in, to do stuff do something, screw the salary cap, go all in, get some players in here that might make an impact. And then if you want to walk away from your quarterback after that, so be it, do it. I, I think, again, Jerry has said, you know, more doesn't mean better. And, you know, that comment he had the other day, which, you know, you needed to hear three times to try to understand what the hell he was saying. You know, they could have added more guys. Uh, that wouldn't have beat Green Bay necessarily. Um, and and then, you know, you get this news today about Dak. Well, I think if you really think that Dak could be playing his last year in Dallas, doesn't quarterback become a major need in this year's draft? It is a very quarterback-heavy draft, but it's also a very offensive line-heavy draft. It is. And that draft, as Stephen Jones says, coincidentally, does align with a lot of their needs. Yeah, but I think the draft aligns, you know, a little bit with our needs. I mean, not, you know, I think the deepest position in this draft is offensive line. Every year you want to bring young guys, you know, into the fold in terms of your offensive line depth and how we work that. I think that aligns very well with us. But, uh, I think we've always, I think Will and, and Alex Loomis, you know, they've done a good job of, always looking for things that would uh, make sense for us. Yeah, it's at the draft. That's how we're going to do it. We're going to plug all these holes with a bunch of rookies that have never played in the NFL before. And that's how we're going to fix things. Mm -hmm. No problem, everybody. What are you worried about? That's going to work out perfectly because, you know, our draft last year was sensational. Uh, no, it, it wasn't. It was sensational. And, and we know what we're doing in the draft, me and Will and Jerry. We all know. And we're going to plug every hole we have just with those young fellas coming out of Michigan. He did not say any of that. That's how I interpreted it. Well, of course you did. Hear what you want, not what was said.
Well, that, I, he said that it lines up perfectly for us, especially at offensive line. It, well, he wanted to get a bunch of young guys to build depth the offensive line. For what? For two years from now? Three well, years from well, now, maybe. Again, they've got some young offensive linemen that they like. I, I mean, it's weird to say right now because I think all of us agree that right now, when you look and think about the Dallas Cowboys roster, that is not a championship caliber roster. No. A lot of work to be done. Yes. A lot of holes to be filled. Uh-huh. Uh, right now, they couldn't even field the team, right? Well, I they mean, could. Uh, I mean, well. They've, I, got, they've got bodies they can plug yeah, in. Right. All right, maybe. I mean, you know, <laughs> Dak's going to play special teams, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but, but honestly, I mean, we all look at it, and collectively, you could look at this team and say this team is not near as good as the team that finished the season last year nope. and that loss to Green Bay. I mean, they've had too many departures and not enough additions, right? Right now, this roster isn't near as good. You think that, I think that. Everybody listening to me right now thinks that, right? Yet Stephen Jones wants to convince you that he feels good about the roster as it sits today. We feel really good about our roster as it sits. I know you say, well, you've lost some quality guys when you lose a Pollard and an Armstrong and, you know, a Biotic, and those are quality football players that uh, Tyron Smith, I mean, we understand that, but you know, at the same time, that's unfortunately what happens, you know, in a salary cap era, you know, you sometimes you can't just uh, keep everybody. And we do have young players like in Dorrance's case, we got a Sam Williams and guys like that, a Fajoko who we drafted, you know, mid round uh, that are ready to play and need more play time. And would tell you, and probably even a Dan would have told you we didn't get Sam enough snaps last year. But it's hard when you got the Fowlers and you got the uh, yeah. Dorrances to, you know, those guys are a little bit ahead of them and they're young up and comers. But all of a sudden you give them the chance and they may be more productive than what was in front of them. Once oh. given the opportunity, obviously we think a lot of Sam. And Dorrance did once uh, Randy left. Well, it was Sam. I mean, you know, if he would just pull his head out of his butt, maybe he, that guy could play. Well, I mean. That way it remains to be seen because yeah. he's running around with his head squarely up there. Yeah, it was that and, one play. Well, it was a lot of those one well, plays was, with Sam Williams. All right, but but again, though, as we're freaking out on the lack of inactivity and free agency, and Mike McCarthy said something similar yesterday, Stephen Jones saying it today, knowing that you're getting a digs back, knowing you're getting an overshone back, and you're hoping that Mozzie makes that second year jump, that you get more snaps for Sam Williams. You look at some of those younger offensive linemen, uh-huh. right? While we might not be comfortable because we haven't seen those guys do it and we're not seeing them in practice and how they're working out and all that kind of stuff. Are they feeling a lot better because of the inside knowledge that they have that we as fans, until we see it, there's nothing they can tell us that's going to make us buy it. They have lost the trust factor with the fans when it comes to this kind of stuff. They they truly have. But if their plan is we're freaking out, they haven't filled these spots, in their mind they have because those guys have been on the roster and it's just time for them to move up and you're betting on them to perform. But those guys, Mike McCarthy's betting his job on it. Well, that, that's exactly what they're doing. They're betting. Look, these guys can look great on the practice field. They say, oh, well, they're, they're improving. We see that over here. That that guy looks great. Until you get them on the football field on Sunday, you don't know how much they've improved. They've got to show it there. And that's what the Cowboys are betting on right now, that these young guys are ready to take that step with just a little more playing time. And and so that's what they're gambling on. Yep. Now, they, obviously, you win sometimes when you gamble. Sometimes you don't. And that's what the Cowboys are betting on. Look, if that's the plan, and and as we hear Steven say that, then Cowboy fans should be happy with that. Well, It's like, that's the plan. Uh, this is what we're going with. Trust us. We got a championship-quality roster. Well, again, the trust part, I got to see it to believe it. But the inactivity part, if that is their plan, whether I agree with it or not, whether you agree with it or not, at least it feels like there's a plan. Yeah, because there is a plan. And those spots are filled with guys that they have drafted, they have developed, and and those guys are ready for their turn. And if that is the case, and, you know, he cited a couple of examples. We all know some guys that, you know, this guy left, this guy stepped in, didn't miss a beat. You know, Steven's saying now some of them might be better. Um, You know, they've got some big shoes to fill. But if they're young players, 
we won't know until they get out there and they actually do it. But those guys that are coaching them up have to feel pretty good signing off saying, yeah, this guy is ready. Isn't that, isn't that the case with all of them? I mean, you know, not proven yet, but nobody's proven until they go prove it. Mm-hmm. You know, you go get a free agent. You think that guy is proven. Well, he should be if you're going to get a free agent. Yeah. At least you've got tape on the guy. At least he's got some NFL experience. Sure. He's played. So, yeah, I, I feel a little bit better about a quality free agent. So it's known hell versus unknown hell. That's exactly yeah, and, right. And, and, and that's what it boils down sure. to. All these young guys, you're hoping that they all are going to take that next step. Yes. And that's what you're banking on if if you're the Cowboys. And if that is their plan, whether you agree with it or not, at least you don't look at Jerry's doodle page and think that is the actual plan. I think that is the actual plan in my mind. It's a big doodle on a on a on a scratch pad and I'm not sure they know exactly what the hell they're doing. I again, I am a big <laughs> proponent of doing both. What what's wrong with both? Why do you rely on one or the other? I mean, well, honestly, I, I mean, they've got a decent mix of veteran guys that are already on their roster. Mm. You know, they, they do. Uh, they lost a, a good mix it, of those veteran guys on the defensive side with guys that they think, based on what they've told us, are ready to step up and, and the get more playing line, time, by the way, and the offensive yes. line. But most of the guys, I mean, yeah, you got to replace two starters on mm-hmm. the offensive line. Um, how they're going to do that looks like through the draft, through the draft. And what are they going to do with quarterback? <laughs> that that kind of becomes the million dollar question with a tweet today from Ian Rappaport that it appears Dak might be playing this year out and will become a free agent next year. Now that could change in the next hour, five hours, four months, who knows? But as it sits right now, according to Ian Rappaport, the plan is no extension, no redoing his deal, uh-huh. play it out and let him become a free agent. And they prove it kind of year. At when you wonder, is it is it Dak wanting that, or is it the Cowboys, or maybe a little of both? Yeah, we don't know that yet. We, we know don't. Dak recently said he plans on thinks a deal will get done. Uh-huh. You know, Jerry and Stephen have said they think a deal will get done today. Yeah, it doesn't appear a deal is going to get done. <laughs> Dak's a good PR guy. He always company says man. he's a company dude. I don't expect until him to he's say not anything bad until he's not. It's going to look good with that Raiders helmet on, isn't it? Oh, shut up. Wow. Dak in Las Vegas. Don't bet on that one. (laughs) It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. You know, injuries do happen, and when they do, skip the ER and get to an OrthoNow injury clinic by TSAOG Orthopedics and Spine. OrthoNow provides walking care for injuries like broken bones, dislocation, sprains, strains, Conveniently located in the Cory area with extended hours Monday through Saturday. They have on-site x-ray casting and bracing. Ortho now has best of all, no urgent care or emergency room copay or weird ringtones. If you're injured, get to an ortho now injury clinic by TSAOG Orthopedics and Spine. They're online at TSAOG.com. That's TSAOG.com. <laughs> Writing 410 with the Blitz. Afternoons 2 to 6, KTFM Floorsville, and everywhere at sasportstar.com. Cars, trucks, SUVs, and RVs. Shop for your next new Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Ford, Buick, or GMC. Or if you're looking for an import, we have a huge selection of Kias, VWs, and Nissans. Or for your home away from home, a full line of RVs and campers. And you'll always get the lowest Ansira price in store or online at Ansira.com. Jason Minnix here from the Blitz. You know, with the tournament here, the college basketball pick em, it is the easiest way to get in on the action and a fan favorite way to play fantasy sports. If you've made your bracket, it's probably already kind of ugly. Well, there's another way to keep playing with your bracket already busted. It's the pick em game at Underdog Fantasy, where you pick between two and five players to build your pick em entry. And all you have to do is select higher or lower on all different kinds of stats in this week's tournament games for a chance to win big, up to 100 times your money in a single 
night. Endless projections to choose from. Create your own experience. So download the Underdog Fantasy app or go to underdogfantasy.com. Sign up with my promo code STAR and Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. Plus, you'll get a mystery special pick to use in your first pick of entry. Must be over 18 and present in a state where Underdog Fantasy operates. Terms apply. Concerned with your play? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org. Again, promo code STAR at underdogfantasy.com. Hi, I'm attorney Steve Benke. If you've made the decision to divorce, you need an experienced attorney who can help. I've helped many people get through divorce, custody, child support, and alimony problems. Call me. I'm attorney Steve Benke. 210 Divorce or go to BenkeLaw.com. Not to brag, but Progressive's Name Your Price tool is mankind's greatest tool ever. Even better than the wheel. Sure, without the wheel, we wouldn't have modern transportation or funny videos of dogs riding skateboards. But without the Name Your Price tool, we wouldn't have easy access to auto insurance options based on our budget. And, well, cars do need wheels. They also need insurance. And insurance never goes flat. Learn more about the greatest tool ever. The Name Your Price tool at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Not available in all states. Find what you love. Love what you find. A total wine and more. There's so much waiting for you. Spirits and beer. Thousands of wines. Walk right through the door. It's all here to explore. With guides in the know. When price is so low. It just might blow your mind. You're gonna find what you love and love what you find. Drink responsibly, B21. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, it's bigger game days and bolder fight nights. I mean, where else can you find a scratch kitchen that always comes in clutch? Every day, from lunch to late night. Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Get to Twin Peaks for their beer-battered fish and chips. This beer-battered cod is served with house-made tartar, malt vinegar, and french fries, and score them along with a 22-ounce Miller Lighter Coors Light for just $12. That's every Friday through Easter. Twin Peaks! Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music, news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey. That's A-U-D-A-C-Y. What's wrong with Rick? He's kind of spacey today. That's Rick's identical twin, Scott. He's not used to answering to Rick. What's going on? Rick asked me to keep it secret, but he asked his twin to cover his shift so he could go to Diamonds Direct to shop. But this is a jewelry store. Yeah, I know. But the prices and selection are so much better at Diamonds Direct. Rick doesn't want the boss to get suspicious, so Scott's here in case the boss sees Rick at Diamonds Direct. But that would mean that the boss is at Diamonds Direct too? Yeah. We have a lot of secrets. You never know who you'll run into at Diamonds Direct. With unbeatable direct importer prices, the highest quality diamonds, the most sought-after designer rings, the best customer service, the strongest guarantees in the industry. It's just a no-brainer. You think if Scott had a mustache, would he look like me? No. (laughs) Go where everyone else goes. Diamonds Direct. Your love, our passion. Well, what if I shaved? Still no. For store hours, directions, and more, go to DiamondsDirect.com. The NFL is on 94-1. San Antonio's Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. Well, it appears the Dallas Cowboys and quarterback Dak Prescott are prepared to play out the final year of the quarterback's contract. At least that's according to NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport. He says the Cowboys and Prescott have a mutual understanding that there will be no adjustment to his contract entering the 2024 season it is the talk of the blitz we'll continue to talk about it next sports center is brought to you by buyers barricades the texas authority in barricade rental buyersbarricades.com joe reinagle that's the third time in seven seasons the san antonio spurs are the nba champions jason minutes they go back to big day as super bowl champions Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 as San Antonio Sports Star. He is Joe Reinagel. I'm Jay Semenix. <laughs> Giddy Joe Reinagel. Because we're leaving for Vegas tomorrow? Well, that, that oh. too. But uh, the fact that uh, the Cowboys might have had it with number four. You'll buy anything, <laughs> won't you? I thought you loved Dak. 
I do. I'm going to love watching him in Vegas. I love you, Dak. He ain't going to Vegas. Vegas. Maybe he'll, I don't know, maybe he'll end up in uh, Washington. That would be funny, wouldn't it? Could you imagine Cowboy fans if he leads the Redskins to a Super Bowl? The Giants, maybe? Is a little Danny Dimes replacement? I don't know. Well, he'll end up with Kellen Moore in Philadelphia. Uh-huh. <laughs> that way, that'd be a rematch. <laughs> Made in heaven. A reunion. Ah. Um, Other teams need quarterbacks. Well, that's the crazy thing, is it not? Yeah. For about 24, 25, 26 teams, Dak Prescott's an upgrade sure. at their quarterback position. Okay. An upgrade. And sometimes guys need a change of scenery. Hey, he'll go win somebody 12 games in the regular season. That'd be great. And then <laughs> lose in the first round of the playoffs. <laughs> and we'll see how much those teams want him after that. Mm -hmm. We'll see. That's kind of how it goes. <laughs> um, you know, there's an old Iditarod saying. You know what the Iditarod is, I right? do, yes. Only the lead dog has a constant cha change of scenery. Uh-huh. Every other dog is... Looking up somebody else's <laughs> behind. <laughs> yeah. It's exactly what it is. Let's do the headline blitz. This is Jason and Joe's Headline Blitz. <laughs> Two guys... Two opinions, never enough time. The NFL is uh, king. They know they're kings. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, Roger probably got a phone call from Adam. Adam saying, please, please, please don't schedule Wednesday games. Wednesday? Why would we be on a Wednesday? Well, you know, that's Christmas Day in the official, unofficial opening of NBA. Wait, Christmas is on a Wednesday this year? <laughs> You're damn right we're playing NFL games on Christmas Day. Well, the ratings this year, or last Christmas, were, were ginormous. And they were huge. So Goodell's looking at that going, we got to play on Wednesday. We can make that happen. Wednesday games, huh? Wednesday. Here well, we go. just one. Well, you think they're only going to play one? Well, I mean, I'm just saying one Wednesday. Yeah. Because then, you know. Well, Christmas. Christmas will move. Yeah, NBA? Yeah, you're screwed. Yeah, you're screwed. I mean, you know what they probably won't have is a Tuesday Christmas Eve game. But then no. again, it's the NFL. They might. Although, they Monday, might. Monday night, they'll be jam-packed and then. Well, I mean. Take a day off and play another game. I mean, that Monday, which which does come into play, you know, typically a big bowl night as well for, for college. Um, so it'll be interesting, but yeah, the NFL says, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to play. Absolutely. We're going to yeah. play. Why yeah. wouldn't we? Exactly. Sorry. NBA. Uh-huh. The NFL is king. It is. So we got some news today. Well, pledge got some news today. He was very excited about like most people don't get excited about preseason games, but pledge blowing up the, uh, the group chat and, uh, the uh, morning cuddle brigade bar thing today, the comment section on YouTube. Uh huh. When the, uh, like at eight o'clock, the announcement was made. This Pledge morning. was in there, huh? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It was, uh, uh, the, the, the Houston Texans are going to play in the Hall of Fame game. Wow. Is that a first for Houston? Yes. Is no? that a first Hall of Fame game? No, I believe they played in the inaugural season Hall of Fame game, if I remember correctly. Like way back in 2002? 2002. All right. Well, it's obviously, I it's mean, it's been a while. Andre Johnson's going into the Hall of Fame. Yeah. As he should. And they're playing the Chicago Bears. Yes. They um, have somebody going in too. Yeah. So the, the Houston Texans are going to play in the Hall of Fame game. Well, good for them. It means they get to start training camp a week earlier than everybody else. They do. Yeah. They do. Good for Houston. It is. Up and coming. But I, I've never seen somebody get that excited about uh, an extra game. preseason game. So because ultimately, the you know, it, it's uh, uh, who's the backup for C.J. Stroud? <laughs> Davis Mills, baby. Is he still? Yep. Pump up that trade value. Yeah. In the Hall of Fame game. Yeah. Remember the year that they didn't play the game because the turf was messed up? I do. That's what they should do with the Hall of Fame game every year. Yeah, they don't. Uh... Just have a nice little ceremony. Yeah, C.J. Stroud probably won't even suit up. I mean, he'll he'll have pads on. Maybe. I mean, 
Maybe. He's not going to play. I mean, the snap, the series. So don't you have now? The, Houston will have four preseason games this yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, they get an extra instead one. of three. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't play C.J. Stroud in that game. Oh, but I tell you what, Houston. Actually, no, they made the playoffs last year. They did. They won a playoff game, in fact. Well, no, because I was, as I was saying that, I was I was thinking about the rules for hard knocks. Oh. Houston would be great for hard knocks. You think so? But because they were a playoff team last year, they can't be forced to do it. And last year, they couldn't be forced to do it because of a first-year head coach. But since that's out, because I think Houston would be a great team for hard knocks this year. That'd be great. But unfortunately, it's not going to happen. Well, uh, we'll see if their owner approves it. If he, he volunteers them because they they've been on hard knocks before, but Cal McNair officially the owner today. Brand new. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not really. He's been running things. Yeah. He's just official. Yeah, they, they voted today. Yeah. You know, they got together at the country club. It's a no brainer. I mean, my goodness. Guy's been he's been handling things since his father died. So, yeah. Uh, by the way, the only teams that could be forced to do hard knocks this year are the Saints, the Broncos and the Bears. <laughs> You got to give it to the Broncos just to piss off Sean Payton. I mean, Sean Payton doesn't get pissed off. He doesn't? No. I mean, of course I, I, he think, does. I think he would welcome the TV cameras. I mean, you know, I, I mean, they're going to deal with losing Russell Wilson uh, and the cap hit that they have to deal with by, by parting ways with Russ the way they did. Uh huh. Listen to Sean Payton's quick response when asked about dealing with the cap hit and if that was a concern when they were making that decision. Was it difficult with Russ knowing that the dead cap consequences were so severe to make that decision to let him go? No. No. <laughs> no. 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 Whatever the price is to get that dude out of the room is worth it. Well, what does Sean Payton care? You know, he treated Russell like an ass. Mm -hmm. And... uh He's making what twenty million bucks a year. Yeah, he's he's doing so, okay for himself. Yeah, he is. He's he's doing okay for himself. Well, it just goes to show you, Walmart's making a lot of money. <laughs> they they are to pay him that kind of money. Had Russ paying him all that money, dead cap money laying around. So the prices aren't falling like they once were. Apparently not. No, no. Um, you know, Pete Rose has responded to the uh, Shohei Otani situation. Hey, you knew it was a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before uh -huh. that guy found himself a camera. Absolutely. And if he only knew back then what he knows now. Well, back in the 70s and 80s, I wish I'd have had an interpreter. <laughs> I'd be scot-free. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? And in the Hall of Fame. Yep. You know, I, I feel bad for a guy like that. It, it, Pete Rose has made more money not being in the Hall well, of Fame. Well, th that's true, and he's he's a good dude. But, I mean, what he did on the baseball field was incredible. So He should be uh, in as a player. Absolutely. The fact that he's not in is is ridiculous. And the fact is, if they don't do something to show Hey Otani for all of this, because look, if you're buying this BS that he didn't know and he wasn't involved somehow, some way, then you're just a knucklehead. All right, you're a knucklehead. A knucklehead. A knucklehead. I mean, this, come on. So many reasons. So many reasons why Shohei knew. Yes. Who is it? Ippy? Is yeah. that the guy's yeah. name? Ippy? Yeah. He's not getting a four and a half million dollar line of credit with a bookmaker. No. All right. The guy'd be lucky to get a thousand bucks. I mean, well, we've heard that he made 85 a grand a year. We've heard he's made 300 grand a year, or 500 grand a year. Right. Uh, whatever the case is. He's still not getting in debt four and a half million to a bookie and walking around with both kneecaps. It, it just doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. No. So he had somebody backing him, and that's somebody. I, the original story to me is true. If he comes out and says, "Look, I got in trouble," and Shohei bailed me out. Well, or Shohei's backing me, so I could continue making those bets. Perhaps which wasn't part of the original story. But again, to your line. How did he rack up that much in debt if if he's not a gazillionaire? You know, no bookie's going to extend that. No, Nobody's extending that Nobody. line of credit, right? Especially, I would assume, in the illegal sports book business out there. At, at, the, at the same time, I do believe Shohei has no idea how much money is in his bank account. He doesn't handle that. You know, I, 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 you know when he needs money, it's there. 
Mm -hmm. Other people are paying all the bills. They, they do all that kind of stuff. Somebody saw that money going out. And then, you know, a lawyer friend of mine was telling me, you know, if Shohei gave Ippy access to the bank account, it's not stealing. No. You gave him permission. Uh -huh. Now, you might not have given him permission to siphon up four and a half million dollars. But if you gave him access to your account, it's not technically theft at that point because you gave him permission to your account. The whole thing's BS. Uh -huh. Shohei knew. Hey, he knew. Okay. I mean, let's just stop with the charade of the, well, I never bet and I didn't know and I can't speak English. And, and I, I mean, come on, stop it. And maybe the I can't speak English part is right. But he should be. How long has he been in the United States? <laughs> he could have learned something. So I mean, something. I can go to Mexico and at least know where the baño is. Cerveza? Yeah. Donde el baño? I mean, yeah, seriously. Yeah. I mean, you, you think you would learn something. Just saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Yes, it will. Mike McCarthy talking today at the uh, owners' meetings gives us an idea that's different than Jerry on what's going to happen with Tyler Smith. We'll tell you about that coming up. Plus, before 4 o'clock, we're giving away VIP tickets to Taste of the North Side. Start the uh, time to start thinking about Fiesta. You know, nobody ever plans on getting arrested, but it does happen to a lot of people every day for all kinds of reasons. If you get arrested, you want to get out of jail fast, best way to do that Call my good friend Albert and his great staff at AA Best Bail Bonds, 210-225-2121. Text BAIL to 474747, or you can start the bonding process online at mybestbailbonds.com. You don't have to call attorneys or anybody else to get out of jail, and you don't want to be forced into a PR bond. If the jail offers you a PR bond, make sure you truly understand what all those conditions are before accepting it. Your best option for stress-free bail bonds is, <laughs> excuse me, AA Best Bail Bonds because nobody beats their price. They offer payment plans, have a free shuttle service. They are discreet and confidential and open 24-7 with offices all over San Antonio and Texas, services nationwide. If you're up in Dallas, down in Corpus, license number 149, call AA Best Bail Bonds, 210-225-2121, or go online at mybestbailbonds.com. 941 San Antonio Sports Star is your home for college basketball's national championship. On their way to their 12th national title game. 68 teams, Sweet 16, Elite 8, the Final Four, one winner takes all. Hear it all on your home for March Madness. 941 San Antonio Sports Star, presented by Westwood One. Hi, Al Miko, the founder of Miko's Hot Chicken. When we started our family restaurant, we were also raising a family. But let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Our Chase Inc. car was there to reward us on all of our business needs. Now we have a thriving location, and we're hungry for more. With the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card, you can earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase, so your business can go from here to possible. Chase for business. Make more with yours. Real business owners compensated for their participation. Cards issued by J.P. Morgan, Chase Bank, and a member of FDIC. Subject to credit approval. Terms of Oh, I can't believe tax season is here already. But look at all this info I have to enter. Phil's small accounting firm is growing in numbers. Why didn't I take that typing class in high school? A data entry specialist could really help him in a crunch. I got blisters on my fingers. Indeed can help him hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. You can schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from your employer dashboard. Visit indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. It's time, basketball bettors. It's March Mania. I'm Rob Thompson here to tell you about BetUS.com. I endorse only one sportsbook and casino, and it's BetUS.com. They've been driving to the hoop for over 30 years, and this year, BetUS has an epic three-pointer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. That's right. I said it. It's the industry's craziest. 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits, plus 10% gambler's insurance, and there's even more. BetUS accepts 
accepts crypto and is offering a massive 200% crypto sign-up bonus. Gambler's insurance and crypto? You don't see that everywhere. You don't see it anywhere but BetUS. March Mania Basketball can get even more exciting with their live in-game betting. It's also a blast to check out their casino game before and after. And where could you get a 250% casino bonus? It's BetUS. Get started by visiting BetUS.com or give them a call at 1-800-MY-BETUS to learn more about their bonuses and special offers. BetUS. It's where the game begins. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T levels is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Experience and results matter. So what are you waiting for? Get your T-levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They've helped thousands of men since 2011. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Call Revive today and schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. Call Revive Men's Health at 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Over the past decade, the Roof Hub has proven to be the best place to watch games with those three massive 170-inch screens and TVs all around. All the games, all the UFC fights, and when you show up at the Roof Hub, show up hungry the food is fantastic open daily at 11 great for lunch great for dinner great for late at night and certainly the best place to watch a game the roof pub is next to the angry elephant and in the same plaza as the big blind there at 281 in redland road we'll see you at the room nigel what's up with your hair joe prices are insane these days i'm cutting my own hair Folks, nobody likes paying high prices. Good news. For a limited time, all Quarter Moon 14 Sear AC systems up to three tons are installed in your house for only $69.99. Now is the ideal time to take care of your home at the lowest price of the year. Joel, I like saving money. I'm an influencer. Everywhere I go, people hand me change and say, bless your heart. Quarter Moon Plumbing, Heat, and AC. 210-651-5899. License number M16004. TACLA 0007434 Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at sasportstar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win an incredible $1 million prize at sasportstar.com. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. See, tomorrow night, we get on a plane and we head to Las Vegas. Wow. Looking forward to that. So we're in studio tomorrow. We are? We are. All right. And then after the show, probably go home and pack, eat dinner, and then uh-huh. go to the airport. Uh-huh. Are you going to pack first? Like today? Are you going to pack today? I might. I'll at least get started. Get started? <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So you're going to need four yeah, pair it, of drawers, four exactly. pair of socks, a couple yeah. of swimsuits, a uh-huh. couple of shirts, a yeah. couple of pairs of shorts. Okay. Four. That's and- a lot. You got. You need two days to pack. Well, you never know. I mean, I just leave it there sitting. I'm, why not? What else am I going to do tonight? Do you, do you do you pull uh, your clothes out of the closet and and then hope that Maggie somehow makes sure everything gets into the suitcase, or no. do you pack yourself? Well, I pack, but I like it when she folds the stuff. And Maggie, back in her day, worked at a at a like a clothing store, so uh-huh. she knows how to pack how to fold shirts like fancy like fancy like yeah. You know me. I'm just is gonna, there is there a I'm, fancy I'm fold and an unfancy fold? Well, yeah, you 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 bought a shirt at a store sure. and they fold it all nice oh, with the sleeves well, tucked yeah. in well, and all that a, stuff. A thing that helps with that, right? Yeah, Mag- it's called board folding. Maggie doesn't need a board. No, no, she just does it. You need a board. You're a knucklehead. <laughs> I've got the old military fold. You do? Yeah. What is that? Not quite board folding, but uh-huh. close. Close. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, you got to remember, I was in the Navy. Yeah. You know, where you had that very was a long time ago, v- very, minutes. very little space to put all your stuff. So sure. You, you learn how to fold your clothes very, uh, you know, compact. Yes. Yeah. Well, that was the crazy thing. We used to have, when I lived in New York on East 86 and 3rd, 
we used to have a, a laundry service and you would send out your, your, your bag of dirty clothes to, to the laundry. Yeah. And somehow basically everything you owned that you sent in this big bag would come back all folded in a shoebox. Really? Oh man. They could yeah, everything. Wow. I, I mean, the way they were able to fold everything and deliver it back to you. And it was great while you're in the Navy because you know, you had a, a locker like what you used to have in high school uh -huh. and then your, your bed, the bunk would fold up. And that was, that was all the space you had when you were going out to sea. And so they, they could make everything fit. Now, the problem is, is, you know, you're, you're gone for a couple of months and, you know, ship's laundry, it would all come back in a bag and you had to fold it yourself. And somehow it didn't fit. That was always <laughs> one of the, the biggest issues. Well, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy that you still remember how to do that. Yeah. That's good. No, yeah. that's, that's awesome. But I'm not going to start packing today and finish packing tomorrow. I mean, literally it should take you 15 minutes tops. If that, well, yeah. I mean, the, the hardest part is trying to figure out what am I going to wear on Friday? Well, what am I going to wear on Saturday? Well, that's what I mean. And we've got a couple of events yeah, yeah. kind of things, right? Happening. So oh. yeah, dress a little nicer minutes. You might want to well, bring something besides blue jeans and a half zip. Well, I, I I mean, but the half sip is perfect for like a fancy dinner like oh, we're going is. to. <laughs> sure. Okay. Sure. Uh-huh. I mean, do I need to bring a sport coat? Nah, no, no. So you're not bringing a sport coat? I'm not coat. bringing a sport coat. All right. See, that's one less thing I got to worry about. I'm not bringing a sport I, coat. I mean, and the decision on which sport coat I'm going to take would be very easy. Yeah, yeah, I've got one. one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, do I need a collared shirt that, that buttons all the way down? I, I would say that might be appropriate. All right, yeah. I got one of yeah. those. So that decision is made. Again, it should not take that long to figure out how to pack. Well, I got to figure out what size, you know, suitcase because I'm probably going to take my boots. So that You're, you got to figure that out and how to get those in there. And you take the biggest suitcase you own. No, no, no. Cause well, that, that'll be my wife. <laughs> all right. But if you're checking a bag, which we all decided we were checking a bag. Well, yeah, of right? course. Because that's that's always a command decision when you're traveling with with other people, right? If 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 everybody is doing carry on, you better do carry on because you can't be the one person waiting at baggage claim. I really don't care right. if you guys are waiting for me or not. I mean, of it course matter. you don't care. You don't give a damn about anybody I but don't, yourself. Exactly. But, it's all about my comfort. But but in reality, though, so if you're checking the bag, uh huh, then you take the biggest one that you have. Because at that point, it doesn't matter. You don't have to fill it all up, but you don't have decisions to make on, do I really need this if you're going with the carry-on size and that thing is getting full? You see what I mean? I, I, I'm just one of those guys, and I've always been this way. I'd rather take too much yes. than not enough. Well, you also have to carry a bag big enough for your hairspray. Well, that's, I, I got to, no, that one's, that one's good. I just got to carry the tape. <laughs> I told you that, right? You got to tape the top down, but your 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 hairspray does not fit in a carry on. No, no, it does. It's got to be checked. It's, it's got to be checked. Yeah, you know, and then it gets checked by the explosive people at the thing because probably, people want to yeah. know why is there a fire extinguisher in this man's bag. I'm glad you reminded me of that. I probably have to stop by a store and grab some. Do you get it just refilled like propane? No, I wish I could do that. <laughs> That'd be nice. That'd be great. Pledge, why are you showing us a picture of Adam Schefter wearing a quarter zip and a sport coat? That is a wonderful look. Uh, there is nothing wrong with Adam Schefter wearing that on television. You know, I'll be honest with you. I don't know why he caught so much flack for that. I don't think that's bad either. I mean, the headline there on the uh, article that Pledge pulled up was Adam Schefter's quarter zip under a sport coat was a ball. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm perfectly fine with the way that looks. I, I got no problem with that. What does that say, Pledge? Quote, there's insane, and then there's wearing a quarter zip under a suit. There's quote. nothing wrong with Adam Schefter wearing a quarter zip and throwing on a sport coat. And the fact that Adam uh, Schefter does those reports from a, a closet in his house, he was probably hanging out, something broke, he put on the sport coat, turned on the camera, and went on television. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I really don't. Honestly, when, I, when that came out, I was like, I don't see the problem with that. Not, I'm, I'm saying I would do that, but I, I don't you think would, it, you would do that. I don't think it looks bad. I, I would do that. I mean, well, I know you would do it. I mean, I, I, I'll, I'll put a sport coat on anything I'm wearing and consider myself dressed up. Although, 
I consider myself dressed up now. I got on a nice polo and I got on some jeans. I'm 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 good to go. Well, so am I. Well, you're wearing a t-shirt. It's it's not a t-shirt. It, literally, it's a t-shirt. It's a fancy t-shirt. Well, it's still a t-shirt. It's not, it's, 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 <laughs> what it's, what makes it fancy? Because it's it's got like it's little ridges. It's ribbed. It's, it's ribbed. <laughs> yes. For her pleasure. Well, I think that's for yours if you're oh, wearing okay. it on, on on your shirt. No, but you know, it's, you're, it's, it's you know, like it's a, rubbing up nicely on you. It's like, a, <laughs> is it cold in here? <laughs> I, I, Ribbed this, for this, his pleasure. This is a a, a fancier T-shirt. It's it's, it's still a T-shirt. Yeah. Oh, it's still a t-shirt. Not really. I, I've got nice t-shirts too. It's still a t-shirt. It's not a t-shirt. It literally is a t-shirt. Dude, it's not. Just <laughs> why? Because the collar's different? Uh, it has it, it it's a t-shirt. This is not a t-shirt. It's absolutely a t-shirt. <laughs> By definition. The hell asked him anyway. I mean, it, it's a t-shirt. Now it's a nice t-shirt. It's a nice it t-shirt. Look, it would look lovely under a sport coat. It, you know, as a matter of fact, it would. It, it would. It would look fantastic. I mean. And if it, you know, but it, it's it just because it doesn't have like a, a logo on it or you know, from a concert or you know, some sort of funny saying, it's still a t shirt, it's a fancy t shirt, all right, but still a t shirt, it's an upgrade, it's still a t shirt, t shirt, it's still a t shirt, uh -huh. and you could get away with wearing that to a fancy dinner with a sport coat, with a sport coat, or without because it's a fancy t shirt. Well, that's true, yes, yeah. You put on a pair of slacks with this thing, they're going to go, woo, that dude looks sharp. Now, why would you wear slacks with a t-shirt? I'm t -shirt? just saying, you could. I mean, would you tuck it in with your white belt? I might. Depends on what shoes I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could certainly, you know, go out and, you know, dress up, night out. Yeah. Go to Taste of the North Side wearing that. I could. You can go to Big Blind and play some poker wearing that. I could. You you could do all of that with what you've got on right now. I, absolutely. And I would love to go to the Big Blind, especially tomorrow night. In fact, you need to make plans to go tomorrow night because it's their big $6,000 tournament. And the buy-in is only 60 bucks. It, it's a, it's an amazing thing. And I tell you what, this place is, is getting traction. And I say getting traction it's already packed. This place is fantastic. And I tell you what, and it should be. It is the nicest poker room in San Antonio by far. Upscale, unbelievable. I've been to a lot of poker houses here in San Antonio. This one beats them all, and it's not even close. Make plans to get out there tomorrow night or go tonight. Practice up. Get ready for this big Wednesday 6K. It starts at 7.15 tomorrow night. And again, the buy-in is 60 bucks. Uh, you can re-enter. For another 60 bucks, it's normally $120. And look, when you go out there, it, it's, it's about playing poker. It's about having fun. Doesn't matter your ability. You can go out there, you can play, you can have fun, you have some drinks, have some food. Uh, and, and there's TVs everywhere. And you're not going to miss a second of the action. And look, it's it's from the owners of the Roo Pub and the Angry Elephant. That needs that tells you everything you need to know. You know it is first class. The Big Blind is the place to be. If you haven't been there, you need to get in there. If you've been there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Full bar uh, and and just everything you need. Have fun at the Big Blind. You know where it is. It's right down from the Roo Pub and the Angry Elephant, right there at 281 in Redland Road. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Wednesday on the Morning Huddle, the Spurs are picking it back up against Houston. We're going to continue looking. Are they better without Wimby? And why did they play so well with that in the last couple of games? And the tournament is almost back in our lives, plus opening day is upon us. The sports are sports, and we start at six. Want to see the dedication and discipline it takes to become a world champion? World Geo with Kodo and Julio Cesar Chavez. Come to training exhibition and fan experience at Smoke Texas and Sky Bar, located at 501 East Crockett in downtown San Antonio. Free to the public. Thursday, March 28th, starting at 5 p.m. Go to dmpboxing.com. Brought to you by Everlast, Quintana Rum, and Desi Martinez Promotions. And now, another no-brainer money-saving tip from Progressive. It looks like your luggage is over 50 pounds. Is there anything you can take out? Oh, yeah. Let me just toss all these $20 bills. Great. Let me grab you a trash can. Stop. Instead of throwing money away, move some clothes into a carry-on. 
And here's a better tip from Progressive on how not to waste money. Don't pay too much for car insurance. Drivers who switch and save could save hundreds. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Potential savings will vary. Not available in all states. Fabrice. Fabric Talk. Hey, it's me, your couch. Today's my favorite day of the week. Fabrice Fabric Spray Day. The occasional deep cleans are nice, but in between, you know I'm needing a refresh. Ooh, here she comes with the Fabrice Fabric Spray. Oh, yeah. Spritz them armrests. Don't be shy. Nothing like like a good spray down to get me smelling so fresh and clean. Don't forget my back. Nice. Febreze Fabric Spray. It's just that easy. Now we can both breathe happy Febreze. La, 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 la. Hard work and dreams lead to success. But easily filing your taxes with TurboTax and Credit Karma doesn't hurt either. Make filing taxes a walk in the park. Because we'll pre-fill your info for you so you can file quickly and confidently. Winner. Get the peace of mind that comes with expert help. Let's go. Being powered by TurboTax means you're backed by the leading tax preparer. And we'll show you all your filing options up front so there are no surprises. File your taxes on Intuit Credit Karma today. Expert help not available with all products. Guarantee details available at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. Pork rinds pack a protein punch and are the boldest low-carb snacks out there. Skip the chip and try Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds for that ultimate crunch. And with flavors that will have you craving for more, the time to stock up on Southern Recipe at HEB is now. Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds. Be big, be bold, be adventurous. Urgent Camp Lejeune Settlement Message. The government will soon begin providing fast, guaranteed settlements to Camp Lejeune Marines, families, and civilians. Awards will range between $100,000 and $550,000 with an option for higher amounts. If you or a loved one spent time at Camp Lejeune and suffered cancers of the bladder, liver or kidneys, leukemia, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, Parkinson's, or kidney issues, you may be entitled to a significant financial reward for your Camp Lejeune claim and could be paid within 60 days after accepting your settlement with your VA benefits fully protected. But the deadline for filing is fast approaching, so you need to act now. Call the James Harris Law Camp Lejeune helpline now to get the compensation you deserve. We're already fighting for thousands harmed by the water at Camp Lejeune, and with the deadline coming, you need to call now or you may forever lose your right to a settlement between $100,000 and $550,000. For your free evaluation, call 800-738-2277, 800-738-2277, 800-738-2277. No one does happy hour like Twin Peaks. Get to your local Twin Peaks Monday through Friday from 2 to 7 and score some sweet deals like dollar off all wine, liquor, and of course, cheap shots, freezing cold 29 degrees cold beer of course we expect that and you need more how about a snack twin peaks has select apps for two four and six dollars and you can always come back for the late night specials why would you even leave for the reverse happy hour no one does happy hour quite like twin peaks eats drinks and all those scenic views there's never any FOMO with the iHeartRadio app. You won't ever have to miss out on your favorite shows and contests with this radio station again. Radio 24-7, 365. We're here when you want us. Stay connected and listen anywhere when you download the free iHeartRadio app. This is the home of the Aggies. You're locked on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. He is Joe Reinagle. I'm Jason Minnix. Glad to have you along on this Tuesday afternoon. And you're going to be thrilled that you're listening right now because uh, before 4 o'clock today, we are giving away VIP tickets to a taste of the North Side, which nice. is my favorite Fiesta event. And just By a far. Couple, uh, a couple of weeks away, and it's crazy. Like, like yes, Fiesta is right around the corner a taste of the north side put on and and uh, Brighton Center benefits from it. They do so much work. Let's talk about it with Katrina Katrina Campbell, the CEO of Brighton Center, joining us now on the Buyers Barricades guest line. While it's still for me, uh, Katrina feels like Fiesta is, is a long time away. I imagine you guys putting on such a great event. Uh, you're already drinking out of a fire hydrant when it comes <laughs> to planning one of the best, if not the best, Fiesta event. Well, that is correct. We'd rather be drinking out of a margarita glass. But <laughs> yes, right now, we are drinking out of a fire hose and getting ready for um, Taste of the Northside. You know, it's such an honor to be able to host it. 
but even a bigger honor to receive all all the benefits that come with it so we can support children with delays and disabilities here in San Antonio. Now, Katrina, for somebody that's never been, and I can't imagine somebody that's never been, but if they haven't, <laughs> what exact, can you just describe what an amazing thing this is? Well, uh, thanks for saying that, first of all. It, it is amazing because it's different, right? Fiesta is so special to San Antonio, but there's a lot of Fiesta events that are that are kind of the same. And Taste of the North Side is really different. You've got 30 different restaurants to choose from. You've got um, a ton of different beverages. The lines are very small, and it's one ticket price. And there's on-site parking now. So any barrier to having fun has completely been removed. You buy a ticket, you go, you have an absolute blast. Try food you've never tried before, and um, and just get in your car and go home. Yeah, it, and it's now at that new security service event uh, center, which last year was the first year that it, it moved over there. And I've been a fan of going to Taste of the North Side since it was at Canyon Springs and then it moved to Sonterra and then at Dominion. And the way it was set up last year, that was incredible. And knowing you guys, you've evaluated and say, what can we do to make things better? So I'll ask, what, what's going to be different and better this year? Well, we've got some different kinds of entertainment. Um, we've got um, dueling pianos. We have a great live band. We've got aerial artists. We've got a champagne tent with a diamond giveaway. Um, we're really just trying to, you know, keep it new, fresh, and interesting. And I, I think we're going to nail it this year. I really do. Well, Katrina, and, and, and just in case somebody missed this, it's like an all-inclusive resort, right? You pay for a ticket, and then, <laughs> then everything you go in and, and, and just eat and drink to your heart's content. That's exactly right. And I don't think people who've never been understand the value in that. Because, I mean, Jason, Joe, have you ever been able to go to every single restaurant that's there? No, no. It, it's impossible because there's so much. And there's every corner has something new. And it's not just your, you know, sausage on a stick or ear of corn, which I love, by the way. But these are, you know, restaurants like Full and Barrel. JW Marriott is going to be out there. We've got um, usually a great Brazilian steakhouse. Um Anything and everything you could want, the best of San Antonio is at our event. It, it really is. And I, and I know like last year, there was a Frito pie made <laughs> with Wagyu brisket. Um, and you talk about taking Frito pie, and I'm a big fan of those on Friday nights during football season. But Wagyu was like, holy, this is incredible. Yeah. I mean, it, to your point, everything from elevated Frito pie to um, we've got sushi that's going to be served. I mean, you just, you name it, we have it. It's well, I tell you, And it's a blast. Everybody there is having a great time. And it's just, it's one of those events that just, I, I don't know. I mean, it's just, you, you got to go if you haven't been, it's just, I don't know how else to describe it. It's just a great thing to go. Well, to. It, it look, it, it's a favorite event. I know the ticket price is expensive and it's a VIP ticket. It's all VIP. Now they, you know, the way you guys have changed up, it's all VIP, but I can tell you, you go to any other Fiesta event and you pay to get in and then you buy drink tickets for this and food tickets for that. And when it's all said and done, you've spent the same amount of money essentially. So it's not, you know, don't let the initial outlay because you don't have to reach for your wallet once you're inside not at a all. taste of the north side. And I, that's one thing that when people just look at the price, oh, uh, you're, you're going to spend the same kind of money no matter what event you're going to. Yeah, that's you're exactly right, Jason. Thank you for saying that. If you can do math at all, <laughs> um, you'll quickly realize this is a steal of a deal and yep. the value is totally there because also the crowds aren't there. So it's easy, it's comfortable, it's fun. You get to mingle with people and not feel like you're elbow to elbow and standing in, you know, 50 people deep in line. You you get to go and enjoy every single minute you're there and um, food and drinks galore come with that. And, and, not, and not only that, Katrina, the, the Brighton Center. Uh, tell folks about that because this event benefits a great center. It, well, it does, and I am biased because I, I have been able to work at Brighton for the last 13 years. But I think, and sometimes people forget that piece of Fiesta, that Fiesta truly was designed as a way for nonprofits to celebrate San Antonio's history, heritage, but also support our organization. So we anticipate raising about half a million dollars through this event um, to support our pediatric therapy services, our um, inclusive preschool, and our special education advocates. And so we couldn't do it without this event. We couldn't do this without San Antonio. So we, we really are depending on people to show up 
and fiesta with us. Absolutely. Tickets are on sale right now. Taste of the north side.org. If you put in the promo code STAR, you're going to get $25 off of those tickets. Nice. And they are available now. And, you know, while, uh, you know, for you and I, Joe, it's one thing we can talk about the food, the drinks, and all that. The other thing, uh, especially at Taste of the North Side and now at the uh, Security Service Event Center, probably the cleanest bathrooms involved in Piasta, <laughs> which I know for my wife is a big no deal. For, for a lot of other people out there, that is a big deal. It but is. yes, I mean, with Fiesta and clean bathrooms, yes. uh, you, you definitely, uh, that that's worth the price of admission alone. <laughs> yeah, those two usually don't go together, Fiesta no. and clean bathrooms. Or... <laughs> Or free parking. And so um, we feel like we're feel like we're taking Fiesta for a different kind of ride here. Absolutely. You are. And again, uh, all benefiting the Brighton Center and all the great work that you guys do over there. Katrina Campbell, the CEO uh, of Brighton Center. Taste of the North Side coming up April 18th, a Thursday night from 6 to 11 at Security Service Event Center. Tickets on sale now. Taste of the North Side at dot org. Again, promo code star. You can save 25 bucks a ticket on that. Katrina, appreciate you coming on and all that you guys do there at Brighton Center and putting on my favorite Fiesta event. Yes. Well, thank you guys for having us, and we'll see you on the 18th. We certainly hey. will. Looking forward to doing the Absolutely. Blitz live at Taste of the North Side, which has become a great tradition here for uh, this radio station. Katrina Campbell and all guests appearing uh, on the Buyer's Barricades guest line, where they provide traffic control, rental, and sales for San Antonio and beyond. Uh, online at buyersbarricades.com. And you happen to have a pair of tickets that somebody can get for free. For free right now. Right now. Right now. Wow. The, the, the question really begs, do we do a random caller for this? I These are, or, these are or do we do tickets. some sort of trivia? I think uh, we should. I, I, think, I, think, I, I think we have to figure out why somebody deserves these tickets uh -huh. based on the conversation we just had with Katrina Campbell. 210-656-ESPN, 656-3776. Pledge is going to line up the phone lines right now, and then we'll ask you some random questions. You don't get a clue before you dial on. You're going to be <laughs> on the air, and if you were paying attention, you have learned something here, and you could earn yourself. Yes. That win, earn yourself some VI tickets to a, a taste of the North Side. 210-656-ESPN, 656-3776. So while we uh, line up the phone lines, let's talk about the Spurs winning last night. It is amazing to me that the San Antonio Spurs have 14 wins on the year, right? They're, they're 14 wins? No, they're 16. 15, 16 now. 16, They got a yeah. whole 16 wins. 16 they got wins. three of those 16 against the Phoenix Suns, one of the best teams in the NBA. How about that? Make that make sense. What is their record without Wimby? Yeah, that's something else that doesn't make I'd, sense. I'd have to look that up, but this team seems to play better without that guy. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> there, there, there is something to that, right? There is a why does Jeremy play better, shoot better? He was incredible last night. Keldon was incredible last night. Now, I don't want to be the wet blanket guy that said, you know, Kevin Durant had a wide open three that would have won the game. And that's a shot that Kevin Durant normally makes. And he was wide open. I don't know where the defense was on that or the rebound. And they had another shot to win the game at regulation because I don't want to talk about that because the Spurs won a game last night. They did. They, they won a game. They didn't play defense at the end. They tried to lose the damn thing and they couldn't. <laughs> well, it was Sohan who made a big shot down the stretch. He was incredible. Well, incredible is a big word, but he was good. Well, he was incredible last uh, he night. Was he he was, was incredible good. last night, but you know, it, 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 it's simple. They didn't turn the ball over last night. And Only they shot seven the ball well, turnovers. Right? They shot the ball well, and they didn't turn it over, and they won a game. Go figure. Wow. It's pretty simple sometimes. It, it really is. That's incredible. Um, now, according to the uh, internet, the Spurs are 2-7 and seven without Wimby. I thought it was better than that. Wow. Well, Isn't it better than that? I, I, I mean, don't know they got 16 a... wins on the year, so two is a pretty high percentage. Well, it is, right? <laughs> I... It, mm. I, don't know, I thought it was higher than that. My apologies, Mr. Wimbanyama. Well, you would think they'd be 0-9. If he's missed well, nine you, games, you would, you would think, think so, they'd right? be 0-9 yeah. without their best player. I still don't understand how they've got three wins against the Phoenix Suns. And, and a little bit biased because the Suns were my preseason pick to win the NBA Finals this year. Yeah, you're screwed. 
And the way they played last night, they've got no chance. The way they played Saturday night, they look like a championship caliber team. Then again, I saw Boston blow a 30-point lead last night. Yeah, they you did. Know, I, I mean, you know, sometimes NBA can be weird. Well, and we're getting into the dog days. I mean, some of those teams that you're talking about, Phoenix, Boston, uh, you know, they know that the playoffs are in sight. The end of the regular season is coming up quick, and I think everybody's just ready for that to, to get on with it. I mean, these are the dog days of the NBA season. Dog. Dog days. Dog days. Yeah. Or you could say dog. Why would you do that? Well, I like dog. D-A-W-G. Dog. Instead of just dog. Dog. <laughs> you okay? I'm good, man. I'm giddy today. I'm telling you. All right, how do you want to give away these tickets? Well, I mean, uh, is, did we go over some of the things that we learned? Or was that too easy? Well, play, Pledge hates when we do, like... I know he does. Sob stories. Like, right. why do you why do you earn these? Hey, if y'all fall for them, go for it. If we fall for them... <laughs> See, Pledge doesn't believe any of you people. Well, no. Any of you people. You people. You, you people. people. You. He doesn't... He doesn't. Y'all. Yeah. Dog. Hey, hey, Steve, you're on the Blitz. What's <laughs> up, man? Hey, what's going on, guys? I love the show. Well, sucking uh, up sorry. is a good start. That is a great start. <laughs> uh, that is that is a, a great start. Um, All right, Steve, is Steve or Steven? Steven. Uh, Steven. Yeah, because there's a Steve on line three over there. So, uh, uh, Steven. Uh, forget about that guy. Yeah, well, we, you know, that's up to you. <laughs> um, Have you ever been to a taste of the North Side? No, sir, I haven't. How come? I've uh, never had a chance to go to. Well, it happens know, every year, Steve. Do, do you know what Taste of the North Side is? Well, I keep on hearing about it. I hear great things about it. But uh, no, it's just usually stick to downtown, uh, maybe Oyster Bank every other year. But that's about it. So you're not a big Fiesta guy? Um, No, not really. All right. Well, like, that, I, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay? Yeah. No, no. Yeah, there, there, there's... There, uh, what what is it about Taste of the North Side that says you want to go? Free parking, all the food I could eat, and I can't twist my arm on a beer. Like, yeah. And 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 what does Taste of the North Side benefit? It does benefit uh, charities. It, the lady was just on right now, but I was on the line. Ah, uh, uh, right, uh, something with dental. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something uh, with what? Yeah, buy your tickets at tasteofthenorthside.org. Use promo code STAR and you can save 25 bucks. Hey, Jesse, you're on the Blitz. What's going on, man? Hey, guys. I uh, had a blast at the golf tournament yesterday. You guys right. put on a great show. Oh, yeah, awesome, nice. man. Uh, you, you, Thanks how, for coming how, out. Appreciate how'd you, that. How did you play yesterday? We did all right. We did all right. I think we tied for fifth. You tied for fifth. What, so what, what was you about? your score? Uh, 55. See, so and fifty three won it. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, wow. Yeah, and what was your actual score? Now that we're not on the course, <laughs> how many mulligans do we have? <laughs> you had a bunch, didn't you, Steve? Uh, Jesse. That's right. That's right. All, All right. right, that's okay. Nothing All wrong right. with that. All right, Jesse, tell us why you want and deserve these Taste of the Northside VIP tickets. Hey, honestly, um, haven't been to this event. I've gone to a lot of Fiesta events over the years, and just heard a lot about this one and. Uh, obviously benefiting the Brighton Center and the kids with um, with disabilities is a, is a big thing. But um, just, I mean, I've been in San Antonio seven years. Uh, sounds like this is the best event there is for Fiesta. So, What did they have that. last year that I was really excited about? Uh, it was the, uh, the Frito pie with the uh, Wagyu beef. Yeah. Nice. How about that? Nice. Yeah. Nice. All right, and 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 Jesse, all right, we're gonna put you on hold. You're in the running. Uh, I'll I'll say you. All right. Yeah, he's you, the leader in the clubhouse. Yeah, well, yeah, because the other guy just completely crapped the bed. <laughs> hey, Steve, you're on the blitz. What's up, man? What's going on, fellas? How you guys doing? Good, doing fantastic. Good, good. Tell us why you decide tickets. All right, I'm a uh, original San Antonio, born and raised. Right, military. Uh, been gone, retired, also federal service. So I've been gone for about 12 years. Uh, got back. I've been listening to you guys, kind of just turned on to you guys. And, uh, 
this year I'm deciding to go ahead. Me and the wife are going to go uh, all out for Fiesta. I already got a room for the day parade at the Hilton. Ooh. I got I got a uh, Friday, Saturday night room at the Marriott. So I'm planning on just kind of diving right into Fiesta, you know, full force. You're going on a major road trip there, huh, Steve? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's, he's <laughs> looking, looking for, for road wins. Let's be honest here. I'm saying <laughs> he's taking the trip. Whether he gets the wins or not is up to him. Well, her. Yeah. Or her. We, yeah. uh, we all know how that, we, we, we all know how that works, right? 100%. Happy wife, happy life. Uh, That's absolutely. It. What is it about Taste of the North Side that you're looking forward to most based on what you just heard? So, to be honest, I've never been, right? Looking forward to all the uh, the different um, restaurants that are going to be up there. And, uh, man, maybe I can try some of that Frito Pie you were talking about with the, that Wagyu brisket on there. So, well, you can't really steal from what you heard try. from Jesse, man. Oh, dude, what, okay. Let me see. What, what uh, else did she say was going to be out there? Uh, JW Marriott. She did say yeah, that. She did say yeah, that. She did. Yeah, give, me, give me one more that might be a little bit more specific. Oh, man. Dude, you might have me on that one. All right. So, uh, uh, on your Fiesta run this year, go to tasteofthenorthside.org and use promo code STAR, <laughs> and you could save 25 bucks on each of your tickets, Thanks, man. Thanks, Steve. Got it. Appreciate you. Hey, Kevin, you're on the Blitz. What's up? Kevin. Kevin, you there? Kevin. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hey, there he is. Dude. Dude. <laughs> you can't hesitate like that, man. What's the problem? Oh, sorry. I was driving. I had to avoid some traffic. Ah, Yeah, please do that. Yeah, yeah don't get into a wreck and blame us. <laughs> so, your... Kevin, have you ever been to Taste of the North Side? I have not. Now your phone's crapping out. Hey, Corey, you're on the Blitz. What's going on, man? Corey. Hey, how's it going? Good, man. How come you're hesitating? Oh, I didn't hear my name. I, I missed my name. All right. <laughs> you know your name is Corey, right? It is Corey, yes. I do. I just didn't hear it. I don't know if my phone cut out or what. Right it sounded like you were sleeping, buddy. Yeah. I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> no, not, not yet. All right. <laughs> Have you ever been to Taste of the North Side? I have not ever been to Taste of the North Side. I really want to go, though. How come? Uh, I got a date. Taking a date. Woo. Third date. Trying to trying to have a good night. Now, wait a minute. Is this a first date, or have you been dating this uh, this woman for a while? We've been on two dates. I'm going to ask her on the third if I get these tickets. I'll ask her on the third anyway, but I would really like to take her here. Well, well so wait a minute, man. It's March 26th. This event's April 18th. She might not be in the picture when this thing rolls around. No, she's coming back. She's out of town right now for the next couple of weeks, and then she's coming back. So she's worth the wait? Corey, is that what you're saying? I think so. Ah, look at this. Or you think tickets like this will make her come back? Tickets like this will definitely uh, end the night well, I think. <laughs> and then what happens to her? <laughs> well, who the hell cares at that point? <laughs> Well, you got uh, Corey's in the running, isn't he? I don't know. I mean, you know, he's never been. He's trying to get a date. He's not even really sure. Well, the guy just wants. I he, he's just trying to get. Yeah, he's yeah. just. He, yeah, yeah. He's, so, yeah. I, I mean, and you I know. Don't blame I mean, him we're, we're, we're I mean, major assist guys, man. We've helped a lot of people. Yeah, we have. You know, get a lot of victories out there. That, that's what we do, man. We're assist guys. Yes, and this could be the one. Y'all could help me find the one officially. The one. Yeah, but <laughs> never you know, know. Yeah, you know, there, there, there's they a lot of time to touch and go in here. You know, I don't want these to go to waste when you give her the tickets and then she dumps your ass and you blame us. <laughs> no, no, it won't happen. This is, I, she's a good one. Well, you don't even know that. I do. We've been talking. Two two dates, man. How do you know that? Two dates. Two dates she's been. This, this one feels different. This feels different. All right. All, All right. right. Well, we're going to put you on hold. You're uh, uh, in in the running. Ronald Jacob will take your calls coming up after Sports <laughs> Center. You can hang up on Paul. He's got no chance at winning these. Paul. It is the Blitz here on 94 1 San Antonio Sports Star. Hey, I want to tell you about Stevens Roofing. We had those storms just the other night. And I'm telling you, it's just the first of many. It's springtime in San Antonio and South Texas. And you know that's what happens. We get these thunderstorms that roll through. We get the hail, all the wind, and all of that kind of stuff. Well, look, you want to make sure that your roof is okay. And if you got some hail, 
where you live, you want to make sure that the it didn't damage your roof. And there's only one name in roofing that stands high above the rest. That is Stevens Roofing. Look, a quality roof overhead by Stevens Roofing means comfort. It means confidence. It certainly means peace of mind. It's protection for all of the things that you love. Hey, when you're in the market for repairs, a replacement roof, an upgrade, or just a roof inspection, you'll want to work with that experienced team that brings local roots, value, and a vast knowledge of the craft to every job. That is Stevens Roofing. Give them a call, 210-785-0994. You can also check them out online at stevensroofing.net, but call them. Get them out there. Make sure that roof is okay. It's Stevens Roofing, 210-785-0994. This is the Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons two to six, KTFM Floorsville, and everywhere at sasportstar.com. In Bear County, one in three people have low access to healthy food since they live one mile or more from a grocery store. The City of San Antonio Healthy Corner Stores are helping to change that. With more than 45 member Healthy Corner Store locations, fresh fruits and vegetables are now within reach at your neighborhood store. And all Healthy Corner Stores accept SNAP benefits. For more information, visit sanantonio.gov slash healthy corner stores. Remember, visit sanantonio.gov slash healthy corner stores. George gets justice. In life's most challenging moments, getting the right help matters most if you've been injured. Get George at George Salinas Injury Lawyers. With a track record of success and a dedication to their clients, George gets justice. George Salinas Injury Lawyers is not just a law firm. They're your support system. Get George at George Salinas Injury Lawyers today at 210-225-0909 or visit getgeorge.com. George gets justice. GetYours.com. Everyday Cintas service reps help businesses get ready for the workday. They provide freshly laundered workwear delivered every week. Mats, mops, restroom and cleaning supplies, first aid and safety products to help your employees stay safe. They even test and inspect fire extinguishers and emergency lights. Cintas helps keep your business running smoothly. See what Cintas can do for you. Visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready. And get ready for the workday. For more than half a century, contractors and trade professionals have relied on WeatherGuard for heavy-duty truck and van storage equipment. Not just to protect their valuable tools, but to protect their professional reputations. For pros, the WeatherGuard badge makes a statement about what drives them. It says, bring it on. Been there. Done that. We've got your back. Without saying a word. And the folks at WeatherGuard, they're just as driven as the hardworking pros they serve. See what it means to be driven at weatherguard.com. She posted about us just now. Celebrities can't get enough of Biana's bespoke skincare line. She has 147 million followers. How do we monetize? She needs a social media associate to help her with the hype. We should repost this. Do we need a hashtag? Indeed can help her hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. You can schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from your employer dashboard. Visit indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Flight by Yingling. It's the next generation of light beer. For those who don't follow trends, but craft them. Flight by Yingling is 12 ounces of uncompromised refreshment from America's oldest brewery. With only 2.6 grams of carbs and 95 calories, this is premium refreshment, six generations in the making. So just raise a glass. Raise the bar. Flight by Yingling. Available wherever beer is sold. DG Yingling and Sun Incorporated. Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Please enjoy responsibly. Hey, pet parents, with Progressive's collision coverage, you get extra protection for your cat or dog because there's nothing worse than seeing your pet hurt. Like when you see their face after accidentally stepping on their tail and you say, I'm so sorry, Mr. Pickles. But as you kiss his nose and rub his little belly welly, you know Mr. Pickles is thinking, you betrayed me. Anywho, Progressive pays up to $1,000 in vet bills if your pet is injured in an auto accident. Learn more at Progressive.com and watch where you step. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Collision coverage subject to policy terms not available in all states. Find what you love, love what you find. A total wine and more, there's so much waiting for you. Spirits and beer, thousands of wines. Walk right through the door, it's all here to explore. With guides in the know and prices so it just might blow your mind. You're gonna find what you love. 
and love what you find. Drink responsibly, B20. Your home for the Dallas Cowboys is 94.1. San Antonio Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. Well, the big news today is Dak Prescott and Ian Rappaport reporting that there has been no conversations between he and the Dallas Cowboys, and it looks like they're going to let number four roll into the season without a new contract, just where he is. We've been talking about it all day here on The Blitz. We'll continue next. Joe Reinagle. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minutes. They go back to big day as Super Bowl champions. Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagle. I'm Jason Minix. We're trying to uh, – we, we're getting some new cameras going Yeah, we, we got yeah. some new cameras for our trip to Vegas. Yeah. And Ryan's in here trying to set them up. He started with Joe. So if you're watching on YouTube wondering where Joe went, um, the uh, plug-and-play idea of this isn't really plug-and-play. It's plug it in and then figure crap out. That's <laughs> – hold on a second. I'm trying to figure this thing out. All right. Well, while, while you play with your new camera over there yeah, and get that worked out, uh, we, we still are trying to give away these taste of the North side tickets. I, I really thought a couple of things that one, we would already be done, have a winner Two that we would hear from a lot of ladies that want to get in on this, but so far they haven't been able to break through. Now, Jesse is our clubhouse leader. Corey is, is on the leaderboard and based on our YouTube chat, a lot of people are rooting for Corey. Uh, Why? Jacob Eric says, help Corey out. Redbird Junkie says, Corey thinks it'll be hump day. Uh, <laughs> throw, a, throw, a, throw the lob up for Corey. Um, give him to the guy trying to get hooked up, says Jeff. Um, Fred B. Lorel says, too bad taste is not on a Wednesday for the third date. Guy. Yeah, you know what? Uh, but that's, it is on a true. Thursday, right? And quite frankly, you know. In that case, any day can be like a Wednesday, if you will. 210-656-ESPN, 656-3776. Ronald, you're on the Blitz. What's going on, man? Oh, hello, Jason and Joe. It's Rhonda. Because you said you didn't have no female callers yet. Oh, oh, my gosh. Here we go. Yeah. Hey, hey, but I've been married forever, and I've only had two dates. So I'm trying to push every button that y'all need. Wait a minute, wait. wait a minute. Was this like a uh, an arranged marriage or what? You didn't take her out? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. She complains I never take her out, so we just did it. Hey, I did, I'm sorry. I just picked up my 13-year-old from school. Say hi, Tom. Hi, Jason and Joe. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry. Buddy. <laughs> she said she's going to tell you that I need to take my wife out to have fun. Yeah, she wants to take him out. And then she wants to take her out. She's yeah. just calling me the girl. Yeah, does your mom <laughs> complain that your dad doesn't take her out enough? Yeah. Yeah. So wrong. what's wrong? Is he, a che- hey. is he a cheapskate or what? I mean, what's going on? Um, yeah. well, it's been going on. I hate. To, I'm not trying to pull up those heart strings, but here I've had we go. for a little while. No, that's the heart strings, and she's here with me. <laughs> I just got. Uh, <laughs> I just went into partial remission, so we just been kind of tight, you know. Well, we're that's good. Here. Good for you. No, All right. Go up. All right. So, so you, but you, you take her nowhere. So you're looking for a freebie uh, yeah. for for a good night out. She's been wanting to go to the Taste of the North. We've been here a little over 12 years now since I retired out of the military. And uh, she's always wanted to go. We've just never never been able to go. All right. Well, we're going to put them in the, uh, on the leaderboard? Nah. Tasteofthenorthside.org. <laughs> promo code STAR. Uh, and, unless we hear from her before we give these away, uh, Ronald or Rhonda, whatever you want to call yourself, you, you, you've got no. <laughs> well, you shot. never know these days, yeah, well, right? I mean, that's right. how, you know, uh, that's how it goes. Now, as for the kiddo in the car, we might have hooked him up, but he's not twenty-one. Well, it was, uh, a, hey, it was a girl, I uh, think. Jacob, um, <laughs> maybe. I think uh, so. Jacob, you're on the blitz. What's up, man? Hey guys, what's going on? You tell us, man. Tell tell us why you uh, deserve these taste of the North Side tickets. Uh, well. You know, my for starters, my wife and I had our first child in December, and uh, so you can imagine how busy we've been. I figured 
this would be a perfect date night for her to get her out. So you know, what, what's the uh, what's the baby's name? Is it Jason or Joe or maybe JJ? <laughs> no, no, Juliana. Juliana. So baby Blitz. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, baby blitz, that works. That, that works. That, that, Been working that, on a nickname. That that w- <laughs> Jacob, I got to be honest with you. Let's see. The baby was born in December. Um, yes, sir. Well, that's about right. You know, you can't go out before that. Really. Ha, ha, have you have yeah. you gone out since the baby's been born? Well, maybe dinner, but not out. Out. So do you have <laughs> do you have uh, like grandparents here in town that you can uh, leave the baby with? Yes, uh, my mother in law. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Yeah, I. You know, when my kids ask me to babysit, I'm like, Nah, <laughs> I got something else to do. Yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be at Taste North. And Jacob, I'm gonna do you a favor, man. Now you can get your tickets, tastethenorthside.org, promo code star. You'll save twenty five bucks. Um, I have a feeling that if we were to give these to you, and no offense, ma'am, uh, we'll find something else down the road. You might have a chance to win. But if you guys haven't gone out, she is not going to be comfortable the whole time. That you're out for the first time and that baby's at a babysitter. Um, you, you know what I mean? Uh, she's gonna be worried right. about it. And then you got a brand new baby, and if you do taste the north side right, and when you Uber home and that baby starts crying at 3 a.m., you're gonna be mad at us. So <laughs> on, honestly, man, I am doing you a favor. And now, if you buy your tickets, that's on you, but I don't want to be responsible for that. Hey, Pedro, you're on the blitz. What's going on, man? Well, how's it going on, guys? This is this is top. T.O.P., top, retired military, and I want I really want to take my wife out to this. It's right before my birthday, which is on the 17th. It's a great organization, and it's also we've also been helping my special need grandsons, and that will be awesome because we've been involved with them and, and that organization. What, what is that organization? What, yeah, what is that? Brighton. Hello? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't sure what he said. Wait a minute. He said he said yes, Brighton. Sir. Now wait a minute. Uh, uh, it's listed as Pedro, but you said your name is what? No, no. Uh, uh, my acronym is Top. That's a retired first sergeant in the military. So, so and then that, we're also going on. It Top T O P. T O P Top. Yes, sir. All right. And uh, also, our anniversary will be coming up after that on May the sixth, which will be our forty fifth anniversary, and that would be awesome to. To, to to take my wife to that and also to to enjoy the event and the facility and also will be thanking SA Sports for that. Absolutely. And I will also wear a white belt. I will wear a white belt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Top man, you had me until there. Dude. Hey Daniel, you're on the blitz. What's Don't going worry, on, man? Top, I'll hook you up. Or something. Don't lie to him. Jeez, you anybody him wears a white belt. White belt is yeah, great. You can't wear that to. Uh, of taste course, of the yeah, North I'm going side. to. Of course, you will. Yeah, yeah, you get chilly all over it, Daniel. <laughs> you're on the blitz. Howdy. What's up, man? Howdy, 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 howdy. Uh, just trying to get these uh, tickets. Um, kind of similar to one of the other callers, but uh, my wife and I are expecting our first baby, and uh, she is about six months. And yeah, Daniel, she, man. She, she can't, yeah, she won't yeah, be able to take full anything, advantage man. of these tickets, man. Hey, Jesse, you're Try on the list. What's up, man? <laughs> Jesse? How you doing, Jesse? Yes. Yeah, you're good. You're, how you doing? Yeah, you doing. called us, buddy. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> now it works. All right, dude. Tell us, uh, why do you deserve these Taste of the Northside tickets? Well, I've been living in San Antonio for the past seven years, and uh, me and my wife just had our anniversary. And I really don't take her places she likes to go. I got a fiesta for many years, and uh, she never says I'm romantic. And <laughs> I've never been there. I know two years ago I was gonna go. There were a hundred bucks a ticket, and I didn't get to take her. But I'm pretty sure if I take her, she's gonna be surprised. And not only that, but she can probably tell you very much. I don't <clears throat> take her a lot of places that are nice. I guess I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it is nice, Jesse. Yes, uh, dude. What, what I mean, is wrong what, with, with you guys? Wait a minute. What's wrong with them? Nice. What's wrong with huh? all you guys not taking your wives out? What the hell, take well, your I wife do, out. I, I take her out, but I I want to go to taco places and go to <laughs> like, the market. Dude, and, it's not and, about you, Jesse. <laughs> I know. But, what, you know. What's your wife's I, name? I got a couple wives. What's uh, your Rebecca. wife's name? Rebecca. Rebecca. Rebecca, yeah. you're an angel. Dealing with Jesse.
all the time. Although I got no problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm yeah. with Jesse. Not only, that, not only that, you mentioned it has seen restrooms. There's some of these other places <laughs> that I think like go out. All right, they so, got porta parties everywhere, man. I'm like, what? So, so tell me, aside from the uh, the the restrooms, what were some of the things that you heard us talking about that have you excited wanting to go? Or are you just looking for free? No, no, no. I mean, uh, like I said, I've been to Fifa a lot of times. Uh, I mean, you talk about you talked about the Frito Pie. I mean, you the corn. I mean, I don't, me personally, I like the gorditas and the corn. And my wife likes the chicken on the stick, which eh, I'm okay with that. But uh, it's just uh, good to hear because last two years ago when I wanted to go, I know it was over here, if I'm not mistaken, at the JW. It was and not. Yeah, that. you had to. Yeah, oh, you, you oh, were going oh, there, until oh, you oh, got oh. something wrong on yeah. that. Good <laughs> lord. 210 656 ESPN 656 3776. Um, I don't know. We need to hear from some ladies. Uh, yeah. Cor- Corey and Jesse are right now in the clubhouse lead. Uh, we're we're going to give these away soon because we got to talk about what's going on with Dak Prescott and that news. What's going on with Dak? Yeah, we'll we'll get into that. <laughs> uh, nothing coming up here on the Blitz on ninety four one at San Antonio Sports Star. If you know me, you listen to this show enough, you know the Rue Pub is my go to spot. No better place to go watch any kind of game, any kind of big event, UFC fight with those three massive one hundred seventy inch screens and TVs all around. And when you show up at the Rue Pub, show up hungry. The food, fantastic. All made from scratch. They got the biggest and best wings in town. About 15 different burgers on the menu. Great appetizers. I love the onion rings over there. The Philly cheesesteak fries. Pledge tells me the salads there are wonderful. And that kitchen is open late till 2 a.m. every day with the full menu available. So when you need that late night meal, don't go to a drive through Get into the Rue Pub there. 281 in Redland Road. Open a a happy hour weekdays from 11 to 6. Great for lunch, great for dinner, great for late at night, and the best place to watch a game. Just down from the big blind, the Rue Pub, next to the Angry Elephant. 281 in Redland Road. We'll see you at the Rue. Nothing beats March Madness. The pure sound of a swish. The rattle of a slam dunk. The fans on their feet for the big moments. And the action just keeps getting better until a national champion is crowned. Hear all the action with Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the NCAA men's and women's tournaments right here. On 94.1, San Antonio Sports Star and San Antonio's ESPN 1250. When it's time for the March Mania brackets, the bus wide open. As I was saying, it's mad. The Mania of March at BetUS.com is all about those buzzer beats. Bonus offers. And when the madness starts in Cinderella, man steps under the... BetUS always has your back with... To back to back 125% sign up bonuses on your first three deposits and even 10% gambler's insurance. BetUS.com Sportsbook and Casino, where the game. Join today. BetUS Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Now, during Staples Print Big Sale, get $20 off your print purchase of 100 or more, $50 off your print purchase of 200 or more, and $100 off your print purchase of 300 or more. So, the more you print at Staples, the more you save. To demonstrate, print, print, print at Staples, you save, save, save. But if you print, 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 print at Staples, you save, 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 save. See how that works. Staples Print Big Sale. Print more, save more. Up to $100. Ends 4-6. Visit staples.com slash print for details. Hey, pet parents, with Progressive's collision coverage, you get extra protection for your cat or dog because there's nothing worse than seeing your pet hurt. Like when you see their face after accidentally stepping on their tail and you say, I'm so sorry, Mr. Pickles. But as you kiss his nose and rub his little belly welly, you know Mr. Pickles is thinking, you betrayed me. Anywho, Progressive pays up to $1,000 in vet bills if your pet is injured in an auto accident. Learn more at Progressive.com and watch where you step. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Collision coverage subject to policy terms not available in all states. World Championship Boxing is coming to San Antonio. Freddie Roach, legendary trainer of rising star Gio Cabrera, will be headlining the boxing event of the year at the Boeing Tech Port Arena. Stars like Justin Figueroa, Shariah Moreau, along with several Texas fighters are set to light up the ring. Don't miss this epic showdown. Saturday, March 30th. Doors open at 5 p.m. Get your tickets now at dnpboxing.com or call 210-636-99 for details. Brought to you by Everlast, Quintana Rum, and Desi Martinez Promotions. Guys, did you know your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED? 
And right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. They've helped thousands of men since 2011 feel and perform better. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Schedule your free testosterone test, exam, and consultation today. Call 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, it's bigger game days and bolder fight nights. I mean, where else can you find a scratch kitchen that always comes in clutch? Every day, from lunch to late night. Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Get to Twin Peaks for their beer-battered fish and chips. This beer-battered cod is served with house-made tartar, malt vinegar, and french fries, and score them along with a 22-ounce Miller Lighter Coors Light for just $12. That's every Friday through Easter. Twin Peaks! Folks, quality is a huge deal. It's what I look for when I recommend something to my listeners. It means you can depend on it. Quality means it won't let you down. It's something you can be proud of. Well, that's the definition of a Kinetico water softener. With other water softener brands, you just never know. Maybe they work half the time or they're just plain junk. A Kinetico water softener is up to 80% more efficient than competing models and will be the last water softener you'll ever own. That's because you're buying quality and it's backed up with an outstanding 10-year warranty too. If you're ready to enjoy all the benefits that come with quality, bring home a Kinetico water softener. Call the team at Kinetico at 656-PURE or online at KineticoSA.com. That's 656-P-U-R-E or KineticoSA.com. And tell them, Dave Ramsey sent you. The last water softener you'll ever own. Call 656-PURE, Kinetico. The Jim Rome Show. Hey, Jim Rome here. And back in the military city of San Antonio. Weekdays at noon on 94.1 San Antonio's Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 as San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagel. I'm Jason Minnix. Glad to have you along. Tuesday afternoon, 420. Trying to give away a taste of the north side tickets. But we've got some updates on the uh, Jerry Jones comments from earlier today. If you've got a line, stay there. Jesse, Corey, you're in the clubhouse lead. Uh, you'll hang as long as I ask you to um, <laughs> if you really want to win these so? things. Uh, yeah, that, that's kind of how it goes. Yeah. Because, you know, uh, there's been a lot going on today. Ian Rappaport reporting earlier today. Jerry Jones with a comment that, they're kind of locked in on Dak Prescott for this year as if no deal is going to get done, no extension, no reworking of anything. Dak will play this year under contract because he's under contract and then he could hit free agency. Michael Gelkin of the Dallas Morning News just tweeted out moments ago, Cowboys have not ruled out a Dak Prescott extension this year, a team official said. As has been the case, there's no guarantee a deal comes in 2024 and even if some belief it could benefit the club's financial situation of extension was to wait until 2025. Jerry Jones said, quote, we are where we are. We have our contract locked and loaded for this year. We can see as we move along how we are thinking. We, inclusive of everybody, us, DAC, will all see what we do. I don't have anything to report today. Uh, a, a little bit of clarity, the, the locked and loaded doesn't mean we're not going to talk, we're not going to offer, we're not going to negotiate. He's going to play this year because he's got a contract and then we'll revisit next year. That isn't what Jerry Jones is saying, according to Michael Gelkin, although the Ian Rappaport tweet makes it seem like, all right, Dak, prove it or you're done. That was well, exactly what it does. And this one doesn't rule that out completely. There's no guarantee a deal comes in 2024. Um, it, I don't think Jerry Jones has the stomach to make Dak Prescott the highest paid quarterback in the NFL. Do you think he has the stomach to go out and try to find another franchise quarterback? Yeah. I, I, I don't think he does. I, I mean, honestly. because if, if it doesn't cost him 60 plus million dollars a year, yes, I, I just don't think he does. If he goes on the open market and tries to trade for somebody, hell, Kirk Cousins just got 50 million a year, right? Okay. Um, He's going to spend that money on a quarterback. Dak Prescott is going to get paid that, whether it's from the Cowboys or whether it's from another team. That is what Dak Prescott is going to get paid. If the Cowboys go out and they try to buy 
a quarterback on the on the free agent market or work a trade for one that, that is in that that category, that's what it's going to cost them. So it doesn't necessarily matter who is wearing that jersey and what the name on the back of that jersey is. If you're a franchise level quarterback, aside from somebody you might draft, they're going to be in that kind of market if you're getting a caliber of quarterback of Dak Prescott, second in MVP voting. We all know his playoff record, and that's certainly there. It's a better playoff record than Kirk Cousins. So, I, I, I mean, and look at what Kirk Cousins was able to just get. So I don't know that it's Jerry doesn't have the stomach for paying that money. That's what it costs to have a quarterback in the National Football League. The question is, does he want to pay more money to Dak Prescott, who has yet to deliver him a Super Bowl? Well, that's a great question. Or you can look across at your nemesis, the San Francisco 49ers, who have a quarterback on a rookie deal, and then you can go out and put playmakers all around him. Maybe that's the plan, and maybe that's a pretty good plan if you're talking about that. You get rid of Dak, you draft the quarterback, and you see if that works. Put playmakers all over the place like San Francisco has done. It's worked out pretty well for them. Now, Brock Purdy is, is, has been a nice surprise. I would think everybody would, would yes. imagine, but who's, who's to say there's not another surprise? I like that plan. Well, Put playmakers <laughs> around a rookie quarterback and see what you can do. That's a... a it's a great plan if you have the right quarterback in the right situation. I mean, literally what you just said, Brock Purdy was Mr. Irrelevant. Uh -huh. They got lucky as hell. Yes, they did. Right? Just the, like the Cowboys did with Dak Prescott. Uh, yeah, exactly. You look at the Texans. They got the right quarterback in C.J. Stroud. You look at Bryce Young in Carolina and wonder. You know, the Bears at one point took Mitch Trubisky instead of Patrick Mahomes. Uh-huh. Right? I, I mean, you. You don't know. So if your plan is we're going to draft somebody and hope, or is your plan, we've got Dak, we know what he's capable of, what can we build around him? I mean, every team out there is looking for that franchise quarterback. Uh, yes. The Cowboys have one. <laughs> they do. They, they do. Now, yeah, he's yet to deliver in the postseason. But the alternative could be far worse because your chances of winning with Dak versus your chances of winning and hoping that this all works out with a rookie. Look, you're hoping you win with Dak at this point in time. Yeah. You're hoping. So why not hope with a guy that's not going to make any money? You go out, then you can spend some money and, and put some talent around him, just like the 49ers did. I'm all in for that. I, you let Dak walk. He plays this year, you let him walk, and then you, you draft a quarterback. And you hope that the guy can get it done. Put some playmakers around him. And, and and see what happens. Look, what you've been doing for the last 30 years has not worked. So why not try something else? Well, the, uh, again, if you're trying something else, right now you're trying to give yourself the best chance to win. Mm -hmm. Dak Prescott still gives you the best chance to win. What you're talking about right now, and you think about the dead cap money that's still going to handcuff you if Dak walks. If he plays this year, and walks. He could go to another franchise and free agency, so you get nothing in return. Other teams have, have overcome it. Look at the Philadelphia Eagles. They've overcome it. They can do other teams can do this. And, and that, the well, Cowboys can as well. I mean, the, the Eagles drafted a guy in the second round uh -huh. because they knew they didn't have it right. Uh -huh. They planned an exit strategy. The Cowboys have not planned an exit strategy from Dak Prescott. Now, if you're if if Jerry is ready to get divorced from Dak Prescott, you trade him this offseason and you get something in return. Because otherwise, you know, he plays this year, regardless of what happens, he's a free agent. Now you lose him and you get nothing in return. You've well, invested a lot in him. He yeah, leaves you and you get nothing in return. Well, who's that, to say you're gonna get anything in return anyway? He's carrying a big yep. number. Yep. Uh, a huge number. Yep. So somebody's just going to trade for that and take on that 60 plus million dollars a year. I mean, I, I, I don't know. And, and what are you going to get back in return? Well, it's better than nothing. If you get a second round, a first round, if you, if, hell, if, if you get a second and a third, you know, you you can get something for Dak Prescott. Maybe there is somebody out there that wants to unload a, a quarterback and you, and you do some sort of swap, but you can't let him walk for nothing. I mean, every franchise chases, 
a franchise quarterback. You can let him walk. For now. How many years do you give Dak Prescott? You give him eight years, that's what you've given him now. How many more years do you give him? Seriously, how many well, more? Five right. more years? All right, a different sport altogether, right? But the San Antonio Spurs won a title in 2007 okay. and then in 2014. Uh -huh. They kept the core together for seven years between championships. Okay. There were a couple of times in there that we all thought, well, the Pop and RC blow this up. It seems like it's run its course, right? Yet they were able to get back to the finals twice and win another title seven years apart. How much time do you give him? He was still second in MVP voting this year. <laughs> okay. Right? A again, and I'm, I'm with you. It's all about playoff results. But if you have a franchise quarterback, and he is, and that is what everybody is chasing, you're just going to walk away. Wash your hands and walk away. Um, I mean, his, yeah, at his, some point in time, yes, his, you do that. His play has not dropped off like Russell Wilson's did. Uh, Russell Wilson's play got to the point where Pete Carroll uh, worked a, a really shady deal with Denver, and then uh -huh. Denver was like, yeah, this ain't going to work, and, and they shipped him off. Dak Prescott's play has not dropped off to that level. Yeah, he doesn't have playoff success. You look at Minnesota right now and the way they're scrambling because they let their franchise quarterback play it out, and then he left. They get nothing in return. They'll get a compensatory pick next year, but they get nothing in return, yet you look at the deal that Atlanta signed with Kirk Cousins. So the, the question is, are, do you really have the stones to watch a guy that literally this year was second in MVP voting Sucked in the playoffs yet again, but has his play, his regular season play has not dropped off. He still gives you the best chance to win. I, I, I disagree with that completely. You're going to be on the hook with him, uh, Micah Parsons, C.D. Lamb, and Trayvon Diggs. Uh -huh. All right, so there, that's it. Who else are you going to put around those guys? You're going to have a, a patchwork offensive line with a bunch of rookies. Uh, that you're not going to have anything. You got Rico Dowdle as your running back right now. You got nobody else playing wide receiver. I've seen reports now that Gilmore is going to go back to Carolina and you're going to lose him. I mean, dude, I, I don't know why you don't at some point in time, you got to say it's been a nice run. You've been a great quarterback, but you can't get it done and, and move on. Try something else. At, at 30 years, the Cowboys have been doing the same thing. Yep. Draft and develop, draft and develop. And guess what? The results are the same each and every year. At some point in time, somebody needs to get a brain and say, mm, maybe we should try something else. Well, I mean, the only thing consistent over that 30 year span that you're talking about is the Joneses. Okay. Right? But you look at, you know, Tony Romo, they weren't ready to move on from him. He got hurt. Yep. Dak Prescott stepped in. They got in, lucky. Right? They they did. Uh -huh. And most of the teams do. Right? You, you, you find a guy. I mean, San Francisco, you know, Brock Purdy was not the not the plan. No. But it worked out. Tony Romo wasn't the plan for that uh -huh. matter. Neither was Dak Prescott. You know, so. He wasn't the plan. Well, now, Dak was. He it, wasn't. It, dude, he was third string. He was, he was a fourth round pick with the ideas that he could be. Now, it got accelerated big time because of an injury to not only Tony Romo, but Kellen Moore. So you're telling me they didn't get lucky with Dak Prescott. I didn't say that. But he was a planned draft pick to get a quarterback because they were seeing the end uh -huh. of Tony Romo's career. Now, he became the starter much faster than they thought. Sure. But, you know, you go back to, you know, taking guys. You know, he wasn't a sixth or seventh round pick. They took him in the fourth round. Their second fourth round pick that year, by the way. Uh -huh. But with an idea that he could be something. I mean, sure. go back in mind. You were in Oxnard when all that happened. I was. We were trying to figure out, was it going to be Jamil Showers or this Dak Prescott guy? That's exactly you know? right. Uh, who was the dude um, uh, that had been released from a, a big Nick Foles? Yeah, Nick Nick Foles. Could we fly here? I mean, there were all those talks, but yes, they got lucky with Dak, but Dak was in the plan as a possible future replacement quarterback. They, they never so wanted Dak to play as soon as he played. No, but injury Tom, Romo well, got hurt and injuries Kellen forced their hand. Exactly. But he right. was on the roster as a plan is maybe a future guy. The point is, Jason, so draft somebody and, and see if you get lucky again. All I'm saying is, look, at some I just don't know how many more years you give this guy. I don't. And 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 not only give them more years, you know, give him more years at about 30 million or 300 million dollars. And I mean, so, yeah, do you have the stones to do that? 
I mean, it, for a guy that has shown nothing in the postseason, nothing in the postseason, nothing at all. Yo, know, but but you got to get to the postseason to get that nothing, right? <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, again, you can't discount the numbers that Dak Prescott has put up. The last couple of years, it, it, and it is there. The regular season does matter because that gets you into the postseason. I can't justify paying that guy, making him the highest paid quarterback in the NFL. Nothing there justifies. If Atlanta does that, they're stupid. Well, that's a, right. it's a comparison. Okay, they did it. And if somebody else wants to do that, do it. All I'm saying is, look, try something different. It, it, it's not where it hadn't worked for eight years. All right, but if you're going to try something different and replace a guy, don't you want to replace a guy that you think is going to be better? And, no, and, and right now, the Cowboys don't have not necessarily. that person. Who does that? I, I mean, don't know. Seriously. When you trade in your car, do you trade in for a lesser uh, model uh, or do you upgrade? That's a ridiculous comparison. Uh, no, it's not. You no, always you always want to try it's to upgrade. It's a ridiculous upgrade. comparison. <sighs> it is. Look, the San Francisco drafted Trey Lance. It yep. didn't work It out. didn't work. They got rid of him. He yep. was a third-round pick. Uh, well, Jerry, uh, they, th- they they... they, they Pulled thievery on Jerry Jones. They well, right. I mean, he gave did. away the farm, right? So I don't think that Trey Lance, fourth round pick for that guy. When you got guys going for six round picks yeah. that are much better than Trey Lance, so I, I just think you got to you got it's a perfect opportunity for the Cowboys to draft somebody. Dak plays out his contract, and you you go from there. Perfect opportunity this year. I mean, you know, you got the dead cap money, but now when are you going to draft that quarterback? This year. In in the first round? Well. In, in, in the second round? Who knows? Wait, it's wait, a wait. deep draft. You got a couple of guys that will probably still be available late. And again, you're you're rolling the dice. Of course you are, I but mean, you're, you're rolling you're, the dice with Dak. You are, but with Dak, at least you know what you have. At least, exactly. At least, That's why you get rid of him. Well, you know what you have, and you put the pieces around them that can lift them. You know, you start they, over. They don't have money to do that. They've got money. They, they don't, can find Jason. the money. And then his cap number, if he walks, and if you're if you're parting ways with them, you got to figure out a way to trade them and get something in return. You can't just let them walk and get nothing. Mm-hmm. You can't. Okay. You know, it, you you got to try to get something in return, whether it's other players or picks. You've got to try to get something try in, to get in something. return. He's got to agree to that, too. He so does. you can't just go out to any team and nope. say, hey. You're right. So he's got to agree to that, which yeah. makes that scenario Again, he's all got, that more, much he, more difficult. He's got all the leverage in the he's world. He's got it all. He's got Jerry by the. Well, he does, unless Jerry says it's been nice. Now, what's the dead cap number if he walks? What did Adam Schefter tell Pat what? McAfee what? earlier today? Well, Adam Shep be a quarterback home. needy team. Giants, mm, Manders, mm. You know, who knows? Like we could go through the list right now. There'll the be right no shortage left? of suitors for Dak Prescott as a true unrestricted free agent. No, apparently not. Why did it stop? Well, never mind. Fumble. Maybe. All right. We'll continue with this conversation. <laughs> and if, and if you're if you're on hold, trying to win taste of the Northside ticket, stay there. We'll get back into that. We will, I promise. 210 656 ESPN, 656 3776. You know, if you are dealing with any issues at your house with your plumbing, your AC, you know there is one company to call, and that is Quarter Moon Plumbing, Heating, and AC. 210 651 5899. At Quarter Moon, they are a full service company, big job, small job, residential, and commercial. Their service trucks are fully stocked, and they have all the heavy equipment needed for any job. No commission sales reps. They'll provide estimates and second opinions, and they have a great experienced staff that has earned an A-plus ranking with the Better Business Bureau. And at Quarter Moon, they are green certified. 210-651-5899 is the phone number. Now, it's late March. You want to get your AC tuned up and ready for the hot summer months. Quarter Moon does have great maintenance programs, and if your unit does need to be replaced for a limited time, all 14 SEER up to three-ton AC systems are just $69.99 installed from Quarter Moon Plumbing, Heating, and AC. Call them, 210-651-5899, 651-5899, or online at quartermoonplumbing.com. 
It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Wednesday on the Morning Huddle, the Spurs are picking it back up against Houston. We're going to continue looking. Are they better without Wimby? And why did they play so well with that in the last couple of games? And the tournament is almost back in our lives, plus opening day is upon us. The sports are sports, and we start at 6. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by Abvi. Ulta Beauty's semi-annual beauty event is happening now. Unleash your love for beauty with 50% off daily beauty steals on hair, skin, makeup, and fragrance. Shop your favorite brands like Tarte and Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Plus, grab perfect hair care pairs from brands like Redken and Olaplex. And check out new arrivals from brands like Charlotte Tilbury and Dyson. Shop the Ulta Beauty semi-annual beauty event online, in-store, or try pickup today. Now through March 28th. Ulta Beauty, the possibilities are beautiful. Conditions apply. Jason Mimics here from the Blitz. You know, with the tournament here, the college basketball pick em is the easiest way to get in on the action and a fan favorite way to play fantasy sports. You've made your bracket. It's probably already kind of ugly. Well, there's another way to keep playing with your bracket already busted. It's the pick em game at Underdog Fantasy, where you pick between two and five players to build your pick em entry. And all you have to do is select higher or lower on all different kinds of stats in this week's tournament games for a chance to win big, up to 100 times your money in a single single night endless projections to choose from create your own experience so download the underdog fantasy app or go to underdogfantasy.com sign up with my promo code star and underdog will match your first deposit up to 100 dollars. plus you'll get a mystery special pick to use in your first pick of entry must be over 18 and present in a state where underdog fantasy operates terms apply concerned with your play call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org again promo code star at underdogfantasy.com If you're a pro and flooring is your game, we'll help you win it. Because at LL Flooring, all we do is floors. You want decor? Try. You want plumbing? You're out. LL Flooring has been helping pros knock it out of the park for over 30 years. Visit one of our 400 nationwide warehouses for one-on-one service, extensive inventory, and exclusive pro pricing. Oh, Get the pro treatment you deserve. Enroll today, online or in-store. LL Flooring. Every step covered. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Need a little help? O'Reilly Auto Parts can help. Need advice? We've got advice. No matter what you need, we have thousands of professional parts people doing their part to make sure you have it. Exceptional customer service. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Hi, I'm attorney Steve Benke. If you've made the decision to divorce, you need an experienced attorney who can help. I've helped many people get through divorce, custody, child support, and alimony problems. Call me. I'm attorney Steve Benke. 210 Divorce or go to BenkeLaw.com. Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music, news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey. That's A-U-D-A-C-Y. Injuries happen, and when they do, skip the ER and get to the OrthoNow Injury Clinic by TSAOG Orthopedics and Spine. OrthoNow provides walk-in care for injuries like broken bones, dislocation, sprains, and strains. Conveniently located in the Cory area with extended hours Monday through Saturday with on-site x-ray casting and bracing, OrthoNow has everything you need to treat your injury, and best of all, no urgent care or emergency room copay. Learn more online at TSAOG.com. Hard work, dedication, and dreams. These are the keystones of success. But easily filing your taxes with TurboTax and Credit Karma doesn't hurt either. And getting your max refund guarantee definitely doesn't hurt. But let others think you did a lot of hard work to file your taxes when in reality, it was a walk in the park. No, no, you literally filed while walking your dog in the park. Winner! Because some key info is pre-filled for you, so you can file quickly and confidently like the boss that you are. So give yourself the peace of mind that comes with getting expert help. 
because you're going places. Let's go. And make tax season feel like it's award season with easy filing. Yeah. Know that you're backed by the leading tax preparer, TurboTax, and we'll show you all your filing options up front so there are no surprises. Feel accomplished and confident that your taxes are done right. File an Intuit Credit Karma today. Ah, yeah. Expert help not available with all products. Guarantee details available at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at sasportstar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win an incredible $1 million prize at sasportstar.com. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagle. I'm Jason Minnick. Glad to have you along on this Tuesday afternoon. Thursday, the Blitz is going to be live in Las Vegas. Wait a minute. Where? Uh, Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Circa Las Vegas. Yes. (laughs) We will be out there, but you know, we're still going to judge me. Of course we are. Because we do that every Thursday, (laughs) regardless of location. So if you've done some grilling over the last several days, make sure that uh, you upload those photos at sasportstar.com. We call it Grilling with the Blitz. Upload those photos there. You put them on Instagram. You put them on Facebook. You tweet the photos out. Upload them to sasportstar.com for your chance to win a $50 gift card to a Tri-County Meat Market. Love it. Thursday. Love giving away other people's money. Las Vegas. We are going to be there. You know, we love spending other people's money, too. Yeah. Or, or not spending other people's money uh, when it comes to Jerry Jones and Dak Prescott. <laughs> there is um, the comments on our YouTube channel. And if you're watching on YouTube, uh, subscribe to the San Antonio Sports Star YouTube channel. You can also uh, uh, hit the like button while you're there. Comments are all over the place. And I think that's part of the problem with with Dak Prescott. Like Tony Romo, the divisiveness, the divide of fans for or against. And the Cowboys did get lucky as hell to transition from Tony Romo to Dak Prescott. Yep. Although completely unplanned and quite frankly, if Dak did not have the start to the rookie year that he had, Romo isn't on CBS right now and probably takes the job back. And we might not know or remember. Oh, remember Dak Prescott? It's kind of like Stephen McGee. Remember that guy? Right. You right. know, um, and, and, you know, but things work out the way they do. You go back, and Jerry has said this on this program before. You know, the number of quarterbacks between Troy and Tony, are you willing to take that risk if you don't have a plan in place? Luck is certainly involved in that. Uh, Jordan Moy, who, uh, a uh, big, big wig over at Kia Bossa. By the way, the Kia Bossa sausage links yesterday oh, at the man. golf tournament were incredible. That was a big hit. We they showed up around ten. We were driving around in a cart, handing those out. But with people, they gobbled those oh, down. Oh my boy, goodness, I tell you what. that was good stuff. Yeah, he, he was like, um, "Could it work out? Sure, but the odds that we suck for at least a few years is pretty good." I think Dak is a great leader. Hopeful. He can take us to the promised land. <laughs> and, and 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 there is that because if Dak still, even though he hasn't done it, the way he is playing right now uh-huh. gives you the best chance to win. He's also based on playoff performance, the reason you won't win. So when you're faced with making that kind of decision, wh- what do you do? And for me, if you're going to blow it up, If you're going to let them play this year and then see what happens, then why wait a year? Do it now where you can get something in return. Because, and yes, Dak Prescott would have to agree to a trade, but at least you're getting something in return. And yeah, this year would suck uh, or likely suck unless Trey Lance is a big surprise uh, or whatever rookie you, you end up drafting. Um, you know, maybe Frank Harris decides, you know, working NIL deals for UTSA isn't as good as being a, a, a Cowboy quarterback. I don't know where, you, you know, but but you look at it, if you're going to let them walk and then see what happens, blow it up now and try to get something in return. Well, because I think, be. I, I think you can get a lot of value for Dak Prescott the way he is playing right now. And some team, other team, and their fan bases would love for their owner to pay Dak Prescott that kind of money. Well, I, look, I, I think that's probably on the table. I wouldn't be surprised if it if it's not. It may have come from Dak Prescott himself. Said, you know, hey, this team, that team, this team, uh, if you can pull off something with those, 
then I'll waive the no trade clause and go from there. I mean, that that could be in the conversation, speculating, obviously. But um, look, I you look at the Cowboys and they don't like to spend money. And I just I just don't believe that Jerry Jones at this point in time. Now, he may end up doing it, but I don't think at this point in time, Jerry Jones has the stomach to make Dak Prescott the highest paid quarterback in the NFL, the highest paid player, for that matter, in the NFL. No. Let's spitball some domino effects there. He has said multiple times, Micah Parsons is going to reset the the market. He has, yes. Depending on what happens immediately at the quarterback position, if Dak is not your quarterback, does Micah want to stick around? If you're C.D. Lamb, are you going to stick around? I mean, I know Justin Jefferson is asking the same question now. Who's throwing me the ball? Although today I see where he's completely on board. Well, of course he is. Can't wait to have a young quarterback to groom. Because he's looking at numbers that are coming his way. You know, but but I mean, you you wonder some of those other big contracts that the Cowboys, you know, and their great five year plan that they always are planning for. Um, how many of those guys are going to want to sign with uh, re or resign rather with with the Cowboys if that's the case? I mean, you, every team has a couple, three, four guys that are making that kind of money. Then you get about another, you know, ten to twelve, fifteen guys that you know are making good money. They'll never have to work again in the the vast majority of the roster is guys that, you know, probably have to get real jobs when their NFL careers are over in, you know, three to five years. Nothing wrong with that, right? If they have to do that, but you're, you're exactly right. But I've been looking at some of the success that some of these teams have had on with quarterbacks on rookie deals. Yeah. And you can, you can do so much more. I think if you, you get rid of that big salary, put some players around him. I know I keep going to San Francisco, but that's the only reason they were able to get Christian McCaffrey. Yep. It's the only way. And he has paid dividends for them. Now, uh, what yeah, that yeah. what that team looks like, um, you know, after it, Brandon Ayuk may now, leave. Now, and, now, now, let me ask you this, though. As you say, he has paid dividends for them. He has. Right? Mm-hmm. You, it's all about have you, what have you done? How many Super Bowls have they you're won? You're not going to compare playoff records, are you? I, I mean, no. If you're going to judge everything on Super Bowl, right? No, I'm, I'm going to judge it on playoff success. Well, again, I mean, that's the only success that matters is a Super Bowl, right? Oh, it, okay. Uh, it, it really is. That's what all we, right. We we judge everybody on Super Bowls. So the only decent quarterback in the league right now is Patrick Mahomes. Well, I mean, that's he, it. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Well, that's no, it. I, I mean, I'm saying though, if if you're going to use an example like San Francisco who hasn't won a Super Bowl in a longer span of time than the Dallas Cowboys. Now, they've been, but they haven't won. They've had some playoff success, uh, but they haven't won the whole thing, right? If Dak Prescott's playoff record wasn't, uh, was it three in no, crap, it's, right? It's two, two in crap. Two yeah. in crap, three in crap. <laughs> no, it's two. I, I mean, the, the idea that I, I look at what you've seen from from the Cowboys and you compare it, you know, you, you've got to look at Super Bowls. I agree. You've got to win while you've got a quarterback on a rookie deal. Uh-huh. I mean, you look at Russell Wilson. They were able to get to two Super Bowls with him on his rookie deal. Joe Burrow got to a Super Bowl on his rookie deal. Will he get back? You know, did the Chargers miss the boat with Justin Herbert on his rookie deal to, you know, and and they have no playoff success. Um um, uh, you, you know, yeah, when you can win with a quarterback on a rookie deal, that's why the Houston Texans are on such a clock right now. Can they get it done with CJ Stroud on a rookie deal? It gives you so much freedom to, to be able to go and get all those other guys. But once you pay that quarterback, you've got to figure out how do you put it all together, uh, with a high priced quarterback. Uh, and then, and that's, that's the thing. And, but look, this whole thing and, and, Ultimately, my gut tells me Jerry will probably cave and do something. But I I just don't believe that this team doing what they've done in the past and what Stephen Jones says they're going to do now uh, with all the holes that they have to fill, they can't do that in the draft. I mean, they'll they'll have players there, but you're you're gambling that every one of those players is going to be a solid player. Yep. That that you're hoping it, you don't it, miss. That's exactly right. And and you're getting to go six for six. 
and, and you're and, and you're hoping there's no injuries. That that's it. And so that that to me is not a that's a gamble in itself. Um, it's going to be fun to watch this and see, and it's fun to see a an Ian Rappaport send this out, and then a Michael Gelkin come back, and and that's what we're going to be doing from now until at least the draft and, until it's, sure. d- it's done or not done. One, exactly, one, one right. of the two. Now Gilberto Padilla uh, says on YouTube that keeps Dallas relevant like Romo did. But Dak breaks down in the playoffs. I don't want to be just relevant. I want titles. I don't care who is on the team as long as we are winning titles. Yeah, I, sure. believe, I believe that's pretty okay. accurate. Yeah. I, think, I think we all agree with that. Although uh, it doesn't really matter who. It doesn't matter, Gilberto, who the quarterback of the Cowboys is. They're going to be relevant because they are the Dallas Cowboys. No doubt. I mean, they were relevant when, you know, Quincy Carter was the quarterback or when Anthony Wright was the quarterback or Ryan Leaf was the quarterback or Clint Sterner was the quarterback and it's going to be quarterbacks like that that could be there if Dak walks. Wouldn't it be refreshing? And I know you say Super Bowls are the only thing and they are. Ultimately, it's professional football. But how refreshing would it be to have the Cowboys win a couple of playoff games and lose in the NFC Championship game? It, w- it would be refreshing. It would be. But, you know, and as, you know, Tony Montana says Baker Mayfield went further in the playoffs than Mr. Second in MVP voting. He did. Tony he, Montana, he, is that he, the guy from Scarface? Um, yeah, you know, um, <laughs> it, it, that's that's exactly who it is. He was also on, uh, was it CSI? Um, um, wasn't he in that? I don't know. Um, and, and you're right. I, I mean, you know, Baker Mayfield, yep, he went farther in the playoffs. He didn't win a Super Bowl. And no? if, if Dak Prescott got to the second round or an NFC championship game or lost in the Super Bowl, all of our bitching would be the same, except for it would be, but he can't win the big one. I just think this year's different, Jason, in this respect, that the Cowboys were Criminal embarrassed. Minds. They were embarrassed at home yep. in the playoffs. And they were embarrassed when everything fell their way. They were completely embarrassed. And I think that's what's got Jerry Jones digging in his heels a little bit. Uh, Redbird's Junkie on uh, our YouTube <laughs> channel. <laughs> Are all those dudes still on hold? Wow. Yeah, they are, which is why we aren't taking a bunch of calls in this segment because all the lines are jammed. Uh, Jesse's been on hold an hour and two minutes and seven seconds. Well, Jesse wants to win those tickets. Corey's he's... hanging in at 57 minutes. Uh, Tariq and John, uh, about 40 and 45, respectively. Stay there. We'll we'll give these away before six. I promise you that. <laughs> I promise you before we get to extra innings with Pledge. Well, you've got two more giveaways, too. Oh, I do? Yeah. Oh, we could probably do this. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll get that done after sports. Night, All right, well, here, let, let, let's take a quick call. Uh, hey, Tariq, why do you want to win these Taste of the Northside tickets? Tariq. Hey, is, Tariq. Yeah, he, he go to sleep. Yeah. Hey, John, tell us why you want to win these Taste of the Northside tickets. Hey, right, man, I got no BS story about being married or taking my wife out or missing an anniversary. <laughs> I'm just kind of trying to go drink with you. I'm just trying to go drink with you guys with Woogie for free. That's all. <laughs> wow at least you're honest yeah. that's good 45 minutes for that well it's good though you, you know what's yeah, going I mean, on. I, Here, here's the thing john <laughs> because i know you mentioned wookie we we know who you are you show up at a lot of things this isn't what i would say is a cougar hunting event so i don't know if you and wookie would have the time you're thinking <laughs> <laughs> you gotta remember he, he's got me by 10 years that's what that's he, that's perfect for him uh-huh. for me I'm, I'm just i'm just i'm just gonna be some eye candy that's all Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not going to work yeah. either. Appreciate you. Hey, Amy, tell us why you want to win these Taste of the Northside tickets. Um, because my husband always said you guys are cool. <laughs> I like the sucking up. He, that's good. Yeah, but he listens to you every single day. I can't even listen to my music because you guys are more important. Well, why do you want to listen to music? My husband called earlier, and with my daughter. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So you, but you have no idea who we are. You don't actually listen. Your husband does. I do. I do. I do. I actually know who you guys are because uh, he asked me to add add you guys on YouTube. I have no idea with all the uh, electronic stuff. So we follow you guys on YouTube. Nice. Okay. Interesting. Well, I'm glad he he, he got his wife to call in. Absolutely. Hang on a second. Yeah. Uh, Hello? Maria, you're on the Blitz. Yes, I know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Hi, Maria. Welcome. Hi. How you doing? So, Good. do you listen, or did somebody force you to call in? No, no, I listen. You I listen. have you on right now. 
Yeah, I always listen to you guys. You do, huh? Do you even know yeah, what we're giving think... away? <laughs> yeah, tickets to Northside. <laughs> <laughs> What's it actually called? Uh, let me see. I'm trying to remember. Right. I know y'all are a sports star, and I know there's something going on this weekend or next weekend for having to having to do with the family or having fun. That's basically what it is. Just that's having a, that's fun. all we do here. We that, have that, that, yes, that's exactly. all we do. That's all we do. Exactly. We appreciate you being such a dedicated listener and listening <laughs> intensely to the show. It is the Blitz here on 941 at San Antonio Sports Star. I promise we're going to give these tickets away to yes. Taste of the North Side to some deserving winner. Right now, Jesse and Corey are in the clubhouse lead. You can uh, pledge. Uh, uh, thank Amy and Maria for uh, calling in. Be very polite to them. Yes, they're very nice. On, Thank on, you for on, calling on, in on the on the on the way out. You guys need to listen more often, though. That that would help you. Listen intently. Yes. Listen carefully. Carefully. There are, there are questions. There you, are quizzes. You learn things here. Yeah. Well, sort of. Well, you may not need to learn them, but you do. True. Yeah. True. Well, you know, as Maria found out, life can certainly throw you some unexpected curveballs. You ever been hit with those challenges that leave your smile in the dust? I got some uplifting news for you from Doctors Implants. Life can certainly throw some serious hurdles our way. And at Doctors Implants, they meet patients every day facing the fallout of medical conditions, causing their teeth to go south. But here's the scoop. At Doctors Implants, they're on a mission to bring back your smile no matter what life throws your way. If health-related dental problems have been holding you back, hey, don't lose hope. Doctors Implants is your ticket to a fresh start. Look, you can check them out online at doctorsimplants.com. But when you call them at 210-640-0000, mention that I sent you Joe Reinagel from The Blitz. That's your key to a complimentary consultation and CT scan. Look, don't let life's challenges steal your smile. Call Doctors Implants today, 210-640-0000. Zero zero. Riding I ten with a blitz. Afternoons two to six, KTFM Floresville, and everywhere at sasportstar.com. It's time, basketball betters. It's March Mania. I'm Ryan Thompson the here to tell you about BetUS.com. Over the years, I've endorsed only one sportsbook and casino, and that's been BetUS.com for years. They've been driving to the basket for 30 years, and I've been a part of it. And this year, BetUS has got an epic three-pointer going for you. 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits, plus 10% gambling insurance. It's epic. Get started by visiting BetUS.com or give them a call at 1-800-MY-BETUS. BetUS, it's where the game begins. Hi everybody, Scott Innes here. For 25 years, I've been voicing lovable cartoon dogs like Scooby-Doo, Astro. Hey, I love puppies and dogs. And now I get to help pets that need a voice to save their lives. That's where the Puppy Food Bank comes in. The Puppy Food Bank helps pet rescue organizations so they can feed puppies. For just $11 a month, you can save a pet's life. Go to puppyfoodbank.org now and donate, and they'll send you a nice gift. Puppy Food Bank is proudly supported by Thomas J. Henry. Flight by Yingling. It's the next generation of light beer. For those who don't follow trends, but craft them. Flight by Yingling is 12 ounces of uncompromised refreshment from America's oldest brewery. With only 2.6 grams of carbs and 95 calories, this is premium refreshment, six generations in the making. Don't just raise a glass, raise the bar. Flight by Yingling. Available wherever beer is sold. DG Yingling and Sun Incorporated. Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Please enjoy responsibly. Puro San Antonio football is back at the Alamo Dome. Join the herd and watch your Brahmas in the best seats at the best prices. Single season and group tickets are available now. Don't miss any Brahmas action this season, led by legendary head coach Wade Phillips. The Brahmas kick off the season March 31st against the D.C. Defenders in the Alamo Dome. Let's pack the dome. Experience the excitement. Head to theufl.com to buy your Brahmas tickets today. That's theufl.com. Vamos Brahmas! Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. 
His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawon'twait.com. Want to see the dedication and discipline it takes to become a world champion boxer? Witness 21 to 1 world ranked Gio Cabrera. Trained by the legendary Freddie Roach, worked with the likes of champion Manny Pacquiao, Miguel Cotto, and Julio Cesar Chavez. Come to training exhibition and fan experience at Smoke Texas and Sky Bar, located at 501 East Crockett in downtown San Antonio. Free to the public. Thursday, March 28th, starting at 5 p.m. Go to dnpboxing.com. Brought to you by Everlast, Quintana Rum, and Desi Martinez Promotions. The NFL is on 94-1. San Antonio's Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. Will Dak Prescott play out his contract this year, or will Jerry Jones try to trade him or give him a new contract? Ian Rappaport says that they have not talked, and there's a mutual understanding between the two that no adjustment to his contract will be coming, entering the 2024 season. How about those Spurs? No Wimby, no problem. They beat the Suns. They're back in action tomorrow night in Utah against the Jazz. Joe Reinagle. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minutes. They go back to big day as Super Bowl champions. Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He is Joe Reinagle. I'm Jason Minnix. Glad to have you along on this Tuesday afternoon. Howdy, howdy. 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 <laughs> Can we hear Jimbo? Howdy. Did you see that picture of Jimbo floating around the yeah, uh, Twitter today? Me. Yeah. Jimbo Fisher, we got, what, $75 million to leave A&M? Was spotted at Planet Fitness today. In Aggie's gear. In Aggie's, well, Aggie sweatpants. Yeah. I mean. So the I, cheap I dude <laughs> goes to Planet Fitness, first and foremost. I, I've never been, so I don't know. But, but he's we still know, wearing, and, and it's still $10 a month. He's still wearing free clothes that he got from A&M. Well, I mean, why not? I mean, you know, he, he's he's still getting checks from them, so does he yeah. have to represent? <laughs> I guess so. I mean, technically, he's still working I mean, for if, if they're comfortable. Sure. But, you know. Uh, pledge, you know, he knows uh, no membership fees, and uh, I think it's ten dollars a month. Yeah, hell, uh, a, a good friend of mine, Aaron Smith, who's in a band called Kingdom Collapse. Yes, this is the funniest story. But you you think about these these touring rock bands, and he was playing in our golf tournament yesterday with his dad and some other dudes, and you know they're they're national touring. You know they got yeah. the bus and and they go places, right? And there's a couple rules on the bus. One, no number two on the bus. That's uh -huh. that's not allowed. And they design their their travel. Like he says, they leave Wednesday. Their first show on this leg of their tour is in Des Moines, Iowa. Right? Um, they plan their travel to stop it in uh, at a Planet Fitness. So they crash in the Planet Fitness parking lot. They can get in a workout. And more importantly, take a shower. Yes. You know, so, do so they, they're, are they're, they all members? Yeah. Or, okay. Right, it's ten dollars a month. All right. No fees. Oh, uh, it's cheaper than a hotel, dude. I love it. I mean, you, you got a shower somewhere. Yes. Right. I, I love it. And, it's great. You know, you, you don't think about rock bands, guys, but those guys have to work out. Um, um, well, they don't have to, but the shower is important. The shower is important, yeah. but I mean, you think about what bands do on stage. You got to be in sort of shape. Well, yeah, you do. You're right. Well, good for them. I mean, that's that's a pretty genius idea to think of that. It's Instead cheap. of taking your your RV and parking it in one of those RV parks where that costs money too, right? Sure. But but again, though, I mean, just the idea that you plan your whole tour and your travel around Planet Fitness stops. Well, I'm assuming that the uh, besides the shower, they're taking number two. I would hope. Well, yeah, but if they can't do it on the on the bus, but you don't have to wait till you're in a Planet Fitness to take a crap well you, you just tell the driver to stop yeah like like uh, look bucky's we're stopping there well i mean or flying j or oh you know, there's a mcdonald's yeah well 
maybe that's why you have to go number two before you get to Planet Fitness. McDonald's. <laughs> that's possible. Yeah, it is possible. <laughs> It is possible. You know, <sighs> McDonald's will not be represented at Taste of the North Side. Not that I'm aware of anyway. Yeah, elevated <laughs> BST band for uh, foodies. Cynthia's trying to win tickets to Taste of the North Side. What's up, Cynthia? Hey there. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. All right. Tell us why you deserve these Taste of the North Side tickets. Mm, I'll be honest with you. Hubby said, give these guys a call. I don't got a sad story. Good. It's not in my budget, but this South Sider wants to sip fine wine, have some good food, pinky up, enjoy some music. And I got a designated driver. Pinky my college up. child. Yeah, my college child who is a driver. Now it's her turn. We took her to all the parties in Peter Piper. Now she needs to return the favor. <laughs> so that's just it. <laughs> So, uh, 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 you, you want to go to the North side and drink with your pinky up, huh? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. You, you, you want the food, time. food that's not necessarily on a stick <laughs> bathroom. That's, that's not right. a porta potty. <laughs> there you go. And it's going to have toilet paper. <laughs> you know, that's probably a plus for you. Uh, that be things that I don't think about <laughs> while standing there. Yeah, we don't necessarily need that standing there, do we? I mean, Captain Obvious over there. Uh, I'm but... just saying, I, I'd never thought about that before. That, that's that's eye opening. Because the last thing you're going to do for a dude is sit at 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 uh, Fiesta. Yeah, no, not not yeah. not doing that. Yeah, yeah, ex <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. So I, I take it. Unless Cynthia, he has some bad food. I, 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 well, that won't happen at Taste of the no, North Side. No, no, no. I, no. That's it, right. That's I, right. I, I take it, Cynthia. You've never been to Taste of the North Side. No, I, I never have heard of it, but I've never been. But you've always wanted to go. Yep, that's do, right. Do you know who Taste of the North Side is a benefit for? So it's for Brighton Center. Are you Googling that? No. <laughs> no. Are you sure? <laughs> you would be honest but with I, us, I, right? Yes. <laughs> no. I don't think she would be. <laughs> when we were talking about it earlier, what was the one thing that I was amazed at last year at Taste of the North Side? Oh, I don't know. I, I didn't catch that part. My husband was the one who told me to call. All right. They didn't tell you all the details. Appreciate you checking in and trying. Mark, you're on the Blitz. What's going on, man? Hey. So, man, you want to know why I want to go to Taste of North Side? Yeah, yeah that's kind of it. Huh? And, and I, wanted my, I have two kids that are really young. Mom and dad need a night, a night out. And that's the perfect fiesta event for both of us to kind of just chill out, meet some new people, try a different atmosphere. And it'd be nice to run into Rob Thompson at an event that doesn't involve a porta potty. How do you know you're going to run into Rob Thompson? Well, I'm just saying people like Rob Thompson running into him. I ran into him at Oyster Bay about 15 years ago. <laughs> and I don't think he'll ever remember the event, but I ran into him at the porta potty and we had a nice little chat. Oh, oh wow. wow! Wait a minute. Hold, Hold on. on. This is a story here. Hold <laughs> yeah. on. You ran into Rob Thompson at a porta potty. I, I'm at a, Oyster Bay. At Oyster Bay. Were you all in line, or were you both inside? We, well, they we're weren't sharing a porta potty. No, I don't know. No, it wasn't that packed yet. <laughs> yeah, get those little swanky porta potties. You're still two, not. You're two st people can get in. Uh, no. Yes. Oh, at, at, at Porta Pot, at, at Oyster Bank, they don't have the royal flush. Well, at, at I Oyster mean, Bank, they're, yeah. they're single use only. I Although somebody could actually, sit and somebody could stand. But, I didn't actually think they used Porta Potties at Oyster Bank. I mean, I mean, you just find a tree. <laughs> Lord. But Mark, what, what happened oh, at this Porta idea, Potty? <laughs> what, what, what happened at this Porta Potty with Rob Thompson 15 years ago mm -hmm. at Oyster Bank? That's a story that he won't remember that you do. Uh, it wasn't really that crazy. Rob, again, he probably won't remember it because he was taking in the festivities pretty good. And <laughs> we just had a nice, and, and there was nothing uh, bad about it. So it was just a nice conversation we had. I just remember Mark, running into him back I don't then. Give a damn. A, a nice conversation. Dog. Rob Thompson. Uh, he won't remember it, and 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 apparently, Mark, you you sound like you want to tell a story, and you realize this is a bad idea. No, no, it, there was nothing bad about it. I'm not going to speak any ill will because there was nothing bad about it. 
The, you know, the fact that you remember this conversation from 15 years ago, I'm impressed. Well, he's given us no details with it. He just knows he met Rob well, it was or, 15 years or, ago. or thinks he met Rob 15 years it, ago. No, I remember Rob. Did he have a mullet? I remember Rob. No, it was a big Hawaiian shirt, though. <laughs> That's Rob. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was. Hey, Spurlock, you're on the Blitz. What's going on, man? What's going on, guys? Very entertaining. Love it. Love it. All right, so hey, you- listen, Jason. I'm not sure if you remember last year when y'all were giving these tickets away, um, y'all were saying the same thing. Why should we do it? And I was one of those guys, you know, and I kind of regretted it afterwards because you kind of hurt my feelings, but you made me realize something. You know, it's just a sad story about my wife, my child, and the marital problems. And I was trying to win those tickets to save my marriage at 10 years, but it made me think after I got off the phone with you because Y'all were talking off um, after we hung up, and you said something about that I sounded like a country song. Jason, I didn't want to be a country song. I wanted to be a Metallica song like you, you know? You've, listened, you've gone to, what, 17, 18 concerts? I do believe it. Yeah, I'm, I'm at 25 for Metallica at this point, but I'm glad you came uh, back. Yeah, you know, I've been listening to you since Chris Duell days when your wow. partner was Chris Duell. Wow, 16 years, huh? You know, I worked out in the field. You're always on the radio station. But, man, I, I ain't going to lie. You hurt my feelings just a tad, but you made me redirect some things in my life. And believe it or not, you know, it, it wasn't just you that made me redirect things in my life. Don't get me wrong. But I didn't want to be a country song. So, But either way, our marriage is fantastic now. So back then, I was trying to win tickets to save it. Now I'm trying to win these tickets to celebrate it. You know, that's kind of where i'm at right now <laughs> you gonna hurt his feelings again jason i mean you're gonna hurt his feelings again i, mean, I got you? i got a pretty good streak going don't yeah, I? yeah you really do i, I do but you're, but I, you're I, I an assistant too you, you assisted me and made me i'm serious man i was like i kind of regretted blasting my life on the radio right afterwards especially when you said country song it just made me think almost called jasmine because she used to date a buddy of mine uh <laughs> i was gonna ask her am i a country song jasmine am i <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> no matter what, even if I don't get these tickets, I'm always going to be loyal to you guys, man. Y'all are awesome. Yeah, you know, awesome, I, I appreciate it. All right, Spurlock, tell me, who does the Taste of the North Side benefit? Uh, a bunch of charities. I don't know specific yeah. names. I, I no, mean, I know no, you're loyal. No, no, you no, listen no. a lot. You don't remember the easiest things, like it benefits the Brighton Center. Uh, Just one charity. But I, but, yeah. I t- but I tell you, I am, I am thrilled, thrilled that, that you – uh, have have saved your marriage. Um, yes. Well, uh, are we giving away corn tickets today? Over the hump. Oh, your pledge is giving those away. All right. That was going to hook you up since you're not a country song to go see corn. Uh, but but I can't. You should even... be a country song, uh, and, Spurlock. Uh, no, it's he, better. Doesn't, he doesn't want to be a a, a, a country song. <laughs> well, he does. He, he doesn't want to be a country song. And with a name like that, that's more of a country song. And the first name is Luke, you know, so you know how country can that be. But no, I don't want to be a country. Spurlock driving down the road. Please don't do that again. I'll tell you what. Put him on the side. On Come horse. on. Yeah. Um, I'll I tell you what. Celebrate the fact that you saved your marriage. Yes. Uh, uh, you, you're not going to win the free tickets, but I'll, I'll save you 50 bucks. You can buy your, you know, go buy the tickets, tastethenorthside.org. Use promo code STAR, and you'll save $25 a ticket. So at least I'm going to save you 50 bucks. There you go. There you go. That's, a, that's a rock and roll show for you. Yes, sir. All right. You were too easy <laughs> on him, man. You uh, didn't hurt his feelings this time. Well, I mean, but I saved this marriage, apparently. Well, the parents. I mean, I could yeah. add that to the resume. Dude, please. Hey, Pete, you're, you're on the blitz. What's going on, man? Pete? Hey, just here, going for these tickets. It's kind of for the sake of the John and the show. <laughs> and Pete, tell it, tell us why you deserve these tickets. Oh, because just they enjoyed and listening to uh, SA Sports Star, the Blitz, and uh, the Brighton Center, and going to enjoy that event. And you had some taste of good food and some drinks, and just enjoyed the the fiesta festivities. The, the the what the fi- yeah it sounds like you fiesta already yeah, exactly. Where where are you having happy hour at, Pete? No, no, I'm not, not, no, I'm not drinking, not drinking. You sure? So it was for Fiesta. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Not yet. Not yet. Well, but not? I will once you tell me the good news. Yeah, you're not going to hear it, Pete. All right. Thanks Appreciate for you, brother. Pete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to. Uh, 
every time somebody hangs up, somebody else somebody is there. Else is on there yeah. Stretch, keep it going. Um, Poor uh, Corey and Jesse. I hope they're not sleeping. Well, I said we're going to do it. Well, J- Jesse's now been on hold an hour and 24 minutes. Corey's not far behind it. An oh, hour we and love 20. you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Good thing speakerphone is 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 available. Yeah, is available. We're going to discuss this coming up. Um, boy, Tariq's not mad at me. All right, we're going to find it. Jason a... has ice in his veins is what it says on YouTube. I, I, I don't understand that comment. Just because I'm cold. Yeah, okay. I should have been sympathetic to that guy. Why? I, well, you see, were sympathy. You were going to give him tickets to corn. Dude, I want those tickets to corn. Well, I'm, I'm you, were kinda... gonna, you were going to give him tickets to corn. I, I and should... then Pledge said no. Yeah, Pledge, I'm giving said, one. Pledge said no. Yeah. He's going to have corn tickets on extra innings with Pledge. Well, so when he calls you to uh, be his guest, ho- guest tonight, what are you going to tell him? No. I, I, I'm busy after work. <laughs> I am. Yeah, well, so am I. I, I got to go throw a first pitch at a high school baseball oh, nice, game tonight. Dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Somebody going to get video of that, I hope? God, I hope not. I hope You're so. going to learn why I talk about sports and uh, don't play them. It is the Blitz here on 94.1. San Antonio Sports Star. I want to talk about Parkhurst New Vision. Love the folks at Parkhurst New Vision. Obviously, what they did for me is incredible. I had lens replacement surgery. It's been a almost a year now, and I, I, I don't even know what readers are anymore. I mean, I see people with readers, and I feel sorry for them. I don't need those anymore. I can see without glasses, without readers, all of that stuff. In fact, my results were so good. Uh, My wife, Maggie, decided to get her eyes done, and she's loving life as well. Look, it is a freedom that is undescribable. It's hard to describe the freedom we get from the folks at Parkhurst New Vision. First thing you got to do, though, is give them a call, 210-585-2020. You can also check them out online at sanantoniolasic.com. When you call Parkhurst New Vision at 210-585-2020, you set up your first consultation. You go in there and If you would, please tell them I sent you, Joe Reinagle from The Blitz, and then ask all your questions. They will explain to you exactly what they are going to do and can do and uh, everything to help you be able to see the way I see. It is unbelievable. Parkhurst New Vision. Let them do for you what they've done for my family. Give them a call, 210-585-2020. 941 San Antonio Sports Star is your home for college basketball's national championship. On their way to their 12th national title game. 68 teams, Sweet 16, Elite 8, the Final Four, one winner takes all. Hear it all on your home for March Madness. 941 San Antonio Sports Star, presented by Westwood One. Over the past decade, the Roof Hub has proven to be the best place to watch games with those three massive 170-inch screens and TVs all around. All the games, all the UFC fights, and when you show up at the Roof Hub, show up hungry. The food is fantastic. Open daily at 11, great for lunch, great for dinner, great for late at night, and certainly the best place to watch a game. The Roof Pub is next to the Angry Elephant and in the same plaza as the Big Blind there at 281 in Redland Road. We'll see you at the Roof. We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000, $50,000, or $500,000, we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-575-2706. Don't lose hope. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. There is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and Yelp and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at TRA.com or call 800-575-2706. That's 800-575-2706. Tax Relief Advocates, real solutions for real people. Hi, my name's Jason Thompson. I've lived in San Antonio for more than 50 years. Went to grade school, high school, and graduated from law school right here. San Antonians have trusted me as their attorney after serious injury and fatality collisions since 1994. My website is a lawyerforus.com. 
Why a lawyer for us? Well, after several years of practice, I watched as insurance companies created their own law firms solely to defend against auto claims. Today, there are very few insurance companies that do not have their own captive law firm filled with attorneys whose job is to minimize what the insurance company has to pay on an auto claim. If you are a family member is injured in a traffic collision, you will need your own attorney. Just remember a lawyer for us.com. For many lawyers you see on billboards, your case will be handled by a non-lawyer or a staff lawyer. If you call me, Jason Thompson, I will be the lawyer you speak with. The initial consultation is always free. If you are a family member and needs an experienced attorney, an attorney you can trust, I want you to call me, Jason Thompson. My number is 900-0400. That's 210-900-0400 or a lawyerforus.com. In Bear County, one in three people have low access to healthy food since they live one mile or more from a grocery store. The City of San Antonio Healthy Corner Stores are helping to change that. With more than 45 member Healthy Corner Store locations, fresh fruits and vegetables are now within reach at your neighborhood store. And all Healthy Corner Stores accept SNAP benefits. For more information, visit sanantonio.gov slash healthy corner stores. Remember, visit sanantonio.gov slash healthy corner stores. Cowboys play here. 94-1. San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94-1. San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Ryan Engle. I'm Jason. Taste of the North Side <laughs> coming up. April 18th. Benefiting the Brighton Center. My favorite Fiesta event. Uh, absolutely. A Fiesta event for foodies. Well, VIP yeah. tickets. It's fun. And, and and look, I know the tickets are expensive, but in reality, when you think about everything that you get there, and once you're there, you don't you don't reach for your wallet. Um, er, everything is included. All, all, all the alcohol, all the food, yep. uh, parking, all, all of it's included in your ticket. Versus another Fiesta event where you spend money to get in and then when you're in there you buy everything, everything. right yes. so from a from a financial math standpoint the tickets yes they're expensive but if you're looking at buying them don't go oh i can't afford that because you're going to spend the same at um just about any other fiesta event uh, out there probably more and and you could save money if you go to taste of the north side.org buy the tickets use promo code star and you'll get 25 dollars off each ticket and, and don't most Fiesta events where you have to go to a booth and buy yeah, tickets yeah. and then go and yeah. get your stuff. Yeah. And then you're always short on tickets and you got to go back and buy more. This one, you don't have to. No. You pay, then you go to town. And clean restrooms with toilet oh, paper. Absolutely. Um, so we've been giving these away all afternoon or we've been trying to give these yeah, things yeah, away. Yeah. Um, Hasn't just, been easy. Just, well, I mean, because I, I don't, I mean, we don't want to give to just Anybody. Ran, random. You know, you yeah. got to kind of earn them. Now, Jesse's been our clubhouse leader for an hour and 32 minutes. Yeah. Corey is also in the running. I know Raymond and Alfred, you just called in, but. Um, we love you. Yeah, it ain't happening for you guys. Yeah. So we're going to decide between Jesse and Corey. The problem is uh, we can't decide between Jesse and Corey. So we're going to go with an old fashioned coin flip here. Now, Jesse, you've been on hold the longest. You are the clubhouse leader. Joe Reinagle is got a penny in his hand. I do. Uh, thankfully, Rob Thompson leaves change in the studio yeah. because. We decided to flip a coin during the break and realize nobody has change. But we did find a penny in the studio. It could be your lucky penny, Jesse. Now, the, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, you may or may not be able to actually see this because, you know, cameras and everything. But, right, right, right. Uh, Jesse. I'm, I'm, you, I'm, trying to find, I'm trying to find the link now. Yeah, you're, well, I mean, you don't have to watch. You can just tell us. You want heads or tails? <laughs> Jesse, literally, you got to make a call. Heads it's, or tails? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask my wife. She they actually don't. knows uh, Joe's wife. Oh, that's yeah, oh, I, really? was, I was a student at a Woodstone Elementary in, like, let's see, the 90s. Yes. Uh, she's my PE teacher, actually. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Yeah, it was. All right. Yeah, very long ago. All right. That, literally. Oh, yeah, he heads or tails? Tails. 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 All right. tails. All right. Okay, here we go. We got a drum roll or uh, something, yeah. Pledge? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, no. It's all right. It's no. okay. Here, here no. we go. I'm going to flip it. It's going to hit the desk. All, all right. right. Here we go. All right. Flip. <laughs> what the hell was that? That what? was the worst. Yeah, flip, you flip it again. <laughs> yeah, Have yeah. you ever flipped a coin before? <laughs> Look. Okay, there it is. All right. Whatever it is. Yeah, whatever, right. whatever it is. 
I'm reaching over. Yeah, we got to find the penny now because Joe doesn't know how to flip a coin. What What did you say? He said tails. Guess what? It's tails. It's tails. How about that? All right. Yeah. Now that that's true. It's it hit and it's it's tails. It, yeah, it deflected it. All right, Jesse, hang on. Pledge is going to get some info from you. Um, Pledge, ask Corey if. Uh, the other two things we could give away today, if he wants one of those, tell him what they are, and then tell me what we have left that we'll give away before 6 yeah, o'clock. Yeah, Corey, you're going to get a consolation prize, yeah, my friend. Yeah, absolutely. It's not Taste of the Northside tickets, but uh, 90 minutes on hold, you deserve something. All right. <laughs> that was the worst. Woman was a student. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, 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 that was the worst flipping of a coin. It was so bad. No, what are you talking about? It was great. It was not great. What, I hit the computer screen and... <laughs> Channel. Dan Cook. Yeah. We used to play this game where you would flip the, the, the coins against the wall. The quarter. Yeah. Yeah. Although some, well, with Dan, it was always quarters. But for those of us that didn't make any money, unless Dan gave uh -huh. us a quarter, we would use nickels or whatever. But there, you know, you would, you, you threw that against the computer monitor as if you were playing that game. Like if you never flipped a coin. Dude, I, I, you know, I, I would come back from dinner with a roll of quarters. <laughs> and typically would leave the night without any. Yeah, you because know, Dan would take them all. Yes. Dan Dan Cook, the that, legend. That dude would was so take them good all. at that game. He used to, because, I mean, this is a long time ago. I would I anchored the 6 o'clock and reported for the 10. Yep. And so in between, I didn't do a lot of reporting for the 10. So we, uh, we'd we flip quarters against the wall. Had a great time. Good times. But, uh, yeah, yeah, that was an awful coin flip. Well, it got the job done. I mean, it? It eventually it did, but Jesse loves that coin toss. Yeah, well, I mean, absolutely. Um, but yeah, that was that was entertaining. I yes. mean, the first one you just flung it against the wall, and it laid. Like, I mean, that wasn't a flip. No, it was just kind of a, more of a throw, wasn't it? Yeah. The second one was a flip. It was uh, it, it was legit. Because I didn't care who won. I, mean, I got no. I got no dog in this hunt. No. no, I mean we want the honor system. Right, we could right. make a decision. So flip you know, the coin. We go to the coin flip. Next 50, time we go to chance. a coin flip, we'll um, figure out a different way to do that. <laughs> Pick a number between one and ten. Yeah, yeah, that ain't gonna work either. <laughs> Good lord! Oh my goodness! Do the Cowboys have to flip a coin? when it comes to deciding on what to do with Dak Prescott. That's kind of been the news of the day based on a report that we heard today from Ian Rappaport, although Michael Gelkin from the Dallas Morning News, eh, maybe it's not quite done yet. We'll talk about it and take your calls as we continue here on the Blitz. 210-656-ESPN, 656-3776. You know, with the uh, tournament here, college basketball pick them is such a fun place to get it on the action. By now, your bracket is ugly, but you still want to add excitement to watching all these games. Let me tell you about the pick them game at Underdog Fantasy. You can download the Underdog Fantasy app or go to the website underdogfantasy.com to get started. And with the pick them game, you pick between two and five players to build your pick them entry, select higher or lower on all different kinds of stats in this week's tournament games. For a chance to win big, you can win up to 100 times your money in a single night. Endless projections to choose from. You can create your own experience. It is fantasy. It is legal in Texas and a ton of fun to play. Now, you don't want to wait till Thursday uh, for, for the games to continue. You got NBA action tonight. So get in on the action. Download the Underdog Fantasy app or go to the website, underdogfantasy.com. Sign up using my promo code STAR and Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. Plus, they will give you a mystery special pick to use on your first pick of entry. Must be over 18 and present in a state where underdog fantasy operates. Terms apply. Concerned with your play? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org. Again, underdogfantasy.com. Sign up using my promo code STAR. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Wednesday on the Morning Huddle, the Spurs are picking it back up against Utah. We're going to continue looking. Are they better without Wimby, and why did they play so well with that in the last couple of games? And the tournament is almost back in our lives, plus opening day is upon us. The sports are sports, and we start at 6.
When was the last time you went to the dentist? Need a new dentist? Hi, Jason Minix here. Go see my dentist at Smile Structure Dentistry Embraces. Smile Structure can handle all your dentistry needs from general dentistry to oral surgery, orthodontics for the kids or Invisalign for adults. Mention this ad, get a free exam and x-rays. Better owned with five San Antonio area locations. Learn more and book an appointment online at smilestructure.com. That's smilestructure.com. If you've been thinking about buying a new car or pre-owned car, truck, or SUV, think Ansira.com. Browse through thousands of new and pre-owned cars, trucks, SUVs, and RVs. Shop for your next new Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Ford, Buick, or GMC. Or if you're looking for an import, we have a huge selection of Kias, VWs, and Nissans. Or for your home away from home, a full line of RVs and campers. And you'll always get the lowest Ansira price in store or online at Ansira.com. At Charmin, we heard you shouldn't talk about going to the bathroom in public, so we decided to sing about it. When you're rolling Charmin up to south on the party, this is more so roll it back, everybody. Charmin's in the system, this often have a nice, a grip is always stopped, it's our party party. It's cushioning things, so what takes me to pass, so what I think, everybody wanna touch the sky. Charmin Ultra Soft is irresistibly soft and more absorbent, so you can use less. Enjoy the go with Charmin. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus 100 bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Hi, my name's Jason Thompson. I've lived in San Antonio for more than 50 years. Went to grade school, high school, and graduated from law school right here. San Antonians have trusted me as their attorney after serious injury and fatality collision since 1994. My website is a alawyerforus.com. Why a lawyer for us? Well, after several years of practice, I watched as insurance companies created their own law firms solely to defend against auto claims. Today, there are very few insurance companies that do not have their own captive law firm filled with attorneys whose job is to minimize what the insurance company has to pay on an auto claim. If you are a family member is injured in a traffic collision, you will need your own attorney. Just remember a lawyer for us.com. For many lawyers you see on billboards, your case will be handled by a non lawyer or a staff lawyer. If you call me, Jason Thompson, I will be the lawyer you speak with. The initial consultation is always free. If you are a family member and needs an experienced attorney, an attorney you can trust, I want you to call me, Jason Thompson. My number is 900-0400. That's 210-900-0400 or a lawyerforus.com. Do you have unfiled tax returns or being threatened by the IRS that your wages are about to be garnished or bank accounts are going to be levied? You need an ally. Allies Tax Relief has professionals ready to fight for you. Their enrolled agents, tax attorneys, and CPAs have saved millions of dollars for taxpayers just just like you. They won't just resolve your tax problems. They'll most importantly protect your wages, bank accounts, and all your assets from being taken by the IRS. Call for a free consultation. 800-230-5174. 800-230-5174. Or go to alliestaxrelief.com. Hey, poker players, the Big Blind is open with a true Vegas feel. The Big Blind is the premier poker room in San Antonio, featuring an upscale environment catering to players from all abilities. Whether you are seeking high-octane tournaments or lively cash games, the Big Big Blind has a game for everyone. The Big Blind at 281 in Redland Road, just down from the Roo Pub, offers daily cash games to daily, weekly, and monthly tournaments. Learn more online at TheBigBlindSA.com. The Big Blind at 281 in Redland Road. World Championship Boxing is coming to San Antonio. Freddie Roach, legendary trainer of rising star Gio Cabrera, will be headlining the boxing event of the year at the Boeing Tech Port Arena. Stars like Justin Figueroa, Shariah Moreau, along with several Texas fighters are set to light up the ring. Don't miss this epic showdown. Saturday, March 30th. Doors open at 5 p.m. Get your tickets now at dmpboxing.com or call 210-636-99 for details. Brought to you by Everlast, Quintana Rum, and Desi Martinez Promotions. Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at sasportstar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win an incredible $1 million prize at sasportstar.com. It is the Blitz here on at 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagle. I'm Jason Minix on a Tuesday afternoon. It, it's been an interesting day. I can no say kidding, that. No kidding, boy. Woo. 
It has been a really interesting afternoon. Ian Rappaport kind of shaking the NFL world up a little bit with his tweet saying that the Cowboys and and haven't offered Dak anything and well, it just might be that he won't get an extension and play the season out coming up on what he's got. Now, if you look at the words Jerry Jones used, he's locked in for this year. Yeah. Now, it doesn't appear right now that they're making any progress, but he is locked in for this year. We we know that. Jerry Jones did not say today he's got a year to prove it. No. Uh, there's no reason to extend him. Kind of like with Mike McCarthy. Well, he's got a contract. It's not up, so why would I extend him now? He didn't say that. He didn't say, if Dak doesn't win a Super Bowl, we're going to let him walk. He, he, you know, But what Jerry Jones did say, which is true, he's locked in for this year. He is locked in, and Stephen Jones, I guess, kind of backed that up, saying the Cowboys really aren't interested in going into the free agent market, so why do they need money, which is why they would extend Dak in the first place. Uh, they think they can fix everything they need to fix coming up in the draft. Um, and, and we'll go from there. So, yeah, I love the optimism coming out of the Cowboys front office. Uh, we can do everything we need to do in the draft. Now, Stephen Jones said today, you think about what they haven't done in free agency. They've added one guy. They've lost a lot of guys, they but have. they've added one outside free agent. They have signed some of their own guys. Um, but as it sits today, the Cowboys, I think we would all agree, a far worse roster than the one that ended the season. Yet Stephen Jones today says he feels really good about their current <laughs> roster. We feel really good about our roster as it sits. I know you say, well, you've lost some quality guys when you lose a Pollard and an Armstrong and, you know, a Biotic, and those are quality football players, that, uh, Tyron Smith. I mean, we understand that. But, you know, at the same time, that's unfortunately what happens you know, in a salary cap era, you know, you sometimes you can't just uh, keep everybody. And we do have young players like in Dorrance's case, we've got a Sam Williams and guys like that, a Fajoko who we drafted, you know, mid round uh, that are ready to play and need more play time. And we tell you, and probably even a Dan would have told you we didn't get Sam enough snaps last year, but it's hard when you got the Fowlers and you got the uh, yeah. Dorrance's to, you know, those guys are a little bit ahead of them and they're young up and comers, but all of a sudden you give them the chance and they may be more productive than what was in front of them, which is given the opportunity. Obviously we think a lot of Sam and Dorrance did once uh, Randy left. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, and, and look, Sam Williams, was was hyped up when he came out when the Cowboys drafted him maybe he will uh you got overshone who's coming back from injury which you know that's always a question mark and Trayvon Diggs as well both of those guys should be healthy and ready to go but you saw what happened with Michael Gallup after his injury he didn't come back that strong Tony Pollard didn't come back that strong so those are question marks until we see them out there uh performing on Sunday afternoon the the reality is we have lost trust in the Cowboys front office. No kidding. At the same time, because we don't see them adding pieces, we think, well, they're not doing anything except doodling on a scratch pad. They're doing that well. And th they are. They might be confident. He might be 100% honest in that we've got these young players that didn't get enough snaps and they are ready. But as fans, we don't know that they're ready. And Stephen, you, me, we can give a lot of examples where, where that has worked. You know, the idea that, you know, we all watched Terrence Steele's rookie year. And uh -huh. then all offseason, we heard how great he was doing, and none of us believed him. And, yeah, he was he was, he was most improved, and, and it was clear. Um, you know. You, Until this year. He didn't play that he, well. He, this he year. didn't play as well this year after he got paid. But I mean, the idea though that they identified a guy that was ready, so there was no need to go replace. You know, you look at a Deron Bland was ready to go when Diggs got hurt. Deron Bland stepped in and you know played above expectation. And the reason he played above expectation is because we had no expectation for him. <laughs> we thought, oh crap, Diggs is hurt. What are they going to do? Uh, and and Bland played well. Uh, you know, and, and there, there's lots of examples like that. There's a lot of examples, though, where you expected a guy to do far better than he did. 
So if the Cowboys, if, if you take Steven at his word there, and, and we've heard something similar from Mike McCarthy yesterday, that while we're waiting, we're seeing all these departures, and we're waiting for them to add in guys, and they're saying we don't need to add because these spots, these guys are moving up the depth chart, and they are ready. <sighs> the problem is I don't trust them. I, 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 I don't trust them right now with what they are telling me. So, nor I, should you. I would love to be proven wrong. Um, and all these guys are unproven as starters with more, more snap times. Now, we've seen Sam Williams make some plays. We've also seen Sam Williams <laughs> oh make some gosh. really dumbass plays. Yes. We've yet to see Mozzie Smith really make an impact. Uh huh. Um, I know that Mike Zimmer will run a different defense to a degree than what we saw from Dan Quinn. How much will that make a difference in just stopping the run? And and so, you know, the the problem that the Cowboys front office has right now with the vast majority of their fan base when it comes to roster construction is we don't trust them. And if you're the Cowboys, do you sit there and wonder why don't they trust us last year? They weren't active in free agency, although they had done some things prior to, I, I assume, the 26th yeah, of March. A couple of big trades. Yeah, right? I mean, yeah. and, and, and they, they ended up putting together one hell of a roster. Yep. The last couple of years, they've put together one hell of a roster. But this year, uh, the, the trust isn't there because when we have seen those guys that they're telling us are ready, what we've seen of them makes us really question whether or not they are ready. Well, and again, such reliance on the draft is is concerning as far as i'm concerned and i'll just go back to last year it wasn't a good draft they have had some good ones especially when it comes to the offensive line i'll give them all the credit in the world for that they have done well when it comes to drafting offensive linemen uh that's a that's a need they need a couple of pieces there um and, and it remains to be seen you got rico dowdle right now as your running back and i i <laughs> <laughs> I guess that yeah, the little guy's there, isn't he? Deuce, Deuce? Long. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's still there. Somebody tweeted us a workout video. Of him I, last I saw week. that. Yeah. Uh, was anybody chasing him or in front of him, or was anybody there trying to tackle him? And I mean, I, I don't know. Guys look pretty good when there's nobody around. I Those mean, were the lowest blocking dummy pads that I yeah, remember seeing. Yeah. Yet they looked like he was running high hurdles. Yeah, he looked great. I mean, he did. I I won't lie to you, the guys. He's a, he's an athlete. He's in shape and. But I didn't see any 300-pound monsters trying to smash him. Yeah. So until I see uh, that, yeah. The, the yeah, the jury's yeah. still out on that. But always glass half full. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> I, I just, you know, it. I think you put it the right way. There's just no trust, and I have no faith that they're going to hit six for six in the draft. I mean, None. no, nobody does. No. And and so you're going to have to fill those in somewhere. How much does last year's draft bust affect your thinking about this year and i say that because you know everybody has some misses in the draft but overall right. for the last several years will mcclay has nailed the draft last year the jury is still out but right now the jury is saying boy they sucked because mozzie smith non-impact player schoonmaker non-impact player was there an impact player from the draft last year at, at any level Wow. Uh, you know, um, Seam played some and wasn't awful um, as a rookie in spot duty. Um, Deuce Vaughn, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I mean, when you look at it, last year's draft right now is looking to be one of the worst draft classes that I could remember under Will McClay. Yeah. yeah I mean, it, it wasn't good. And so, it look, I mean, it's just odds. And they may get a couple of pieces here. Again, I'll give them all the credit in the world for offensive line drafts. They've done a great job with that. And there are some good offensive linemen in this draft, they're going to be available for the Cowboys. Um, defensive line, they still need some help, I think. Uh, you, you lose Hankins. Linebacker, they need some depth there. Uh, if if those reports about Gilmore being um, you know, romanced by the Carolina Panthers, which is what I've seen today, and whether he goes back there or not uh, remains to be seen, you might need some, some, some depth at corner. There's just a lot of places that you do, but obviously the main concern is that is that offensive line. I mean, to me, that's the biggest thing that you've got to get right. And for to be on a positive half glass full, the Cowboys have done well in that regard. Yeah, it's um, 
um, I mean, Tyler Smith was a good, turned out to be a good pick. Uh -huh. Although yep. at the time we were all questioning whether or not that was, that was a, a yeah. good pick or not. 210-656 ESPN, 656-3776. Hey, David, you're on the Blitz. What's going on, man? Hey, guys. How's it going? This, this comes with a disclaimer. Uh, I've been a Cowboy fan since the Ice Bowl, uh, but I have zero confidence in this coming year. And I was going to, I told Pledge, I was going to recommend to you guys that while you're in Vegas this weekend, bet the under on the number of wins that the Cowboys have this season. I think, I it's, think it's 10, ten and a half. 10, ten, ten, ten or half. 10 and a half. Yeah. It, it is interesting because last year they were at nine and a half. Right, and they ended right. up winning 12. Uh -huh. And it, it's odd. Is Vegas doesn't, you know, Vegas knows. Sure. Um, and while they like winners, they don't like winners, right? Um, what so, would your what would your bet be if if somebody said Jason you have to place a bet on the Cowboys over and under when we're in Vegas would you go over the ten and a half or no, under I'd go under you go under I'd go under even last year I thought they were going to win ten games I think yeah. my preseason prediction was was ten and seven uh, -huh. uh the fact that they got to twelve is you know was a surprise I think right now you would have to go under now I don't know. Uh, do I put 20 bucks on the over just to hedge? Maybe, maybe, but I, I, I just don't see it right now. But I also, uh, I wouldn't make that bet right now. I would not make that bet right now because I don't know what the rest of the roster looks like. I mean, it would just be, you know, putting money on the Cowboys because I wanted to have a, a betting slip in my wallet for uh -huh. for eight months or or whatever it would end up being. I, I, I wouldn't do it because it's too early to judge what this roster is going to be now. They've got Dak, they've got CD, they've got Micah Parsons. So they've they've got a chance to be good, you know. But what are what are they going to do at the other wide receiver spot? You know, Stephen Jones can tell me that uh, Fajoko might be ready to go, uh -huh. right? Uh, what about the Tolbert guy? Is he ever Who going knows? to be ready to go? They they got that other Jalen on the roster. Um, what what's it going to be like? And I don't know who's going to play left tackle. Uh, <laughs> That's you, a you know, big question. Who is going to protect? Dak Prescott. I'm sure he wants to know that answer too. Well, and and then you, you you look at it. I mean, Eric Kendricks, I think, um, will be a nice addition to the defense uh, and necessary after Leighton Vanderesh his retirement because his as he said his body won't cooperate anymore. Let's talk about that some with Dr. Josh Bell who joins us now for our injury update powered by the Sports Institute at TSAOG Orthopedics and Spine. They're online at TSAOG.com. You know, Doc, you, you think about Leighton Vanderesh officially announcing his retirement in the last couple of days because his body won't cooperate. Nobody is surprised by that. But when you think about what he is risking and what his future life might be like with all the neck injuries that he's had, how debilitated will his future be from the injuries he did suffer with the Cowboys? Yeah, I mean, it, it really can be a lifelong kind of, uh, you know, thing you got to deal with, the ba battle through. I mean, you know, when you have injury after injury, and, and just think about the, the type of hits he's made, the type of, you know, uh, surgeries he's been through and all those things. I mean, usually when we think about someone that's had, you know, that much time missed from work or that many surgeries, they're, they're someone who's 55, 60 years old, and here he is 28 and, and hanging it up. So, I'm 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 happy in a way that he hung it up because I'm glad he didn't keep pounding the body more. But he's definitely gonna gonna have you know some issues going forward because you just can't take that kind of abuse and not have anything. Doctor Bell, that's and that brings up a question. When that happens, and I I'm not looking for an exact age, but a guy like that that's, that's taken the injuries like he has, is that something that you, you really start to feel when you're fifties and sixties, or is it something he might feel earlier than that? Well, you definitely, I don't know the exact nature because they're pretty, they're pretty clouded in exactly what they tell you. Um, but obviously he, he wasn't completely repaired, able to go back. So that's, that tells you enough that, that there's some kind of, I would say some lingering issues going on because a lot of these guys, you know, Peyton Manning had a neck, couple of neck surgeries and was able to go back. Now, obviously he wasn't hitting the full back coming in the middle of the, you know, in the, in the middle of the line every time. But um, but guys can go back from injuries like that. But but when he's reti medically retired at that age, I would suspect that it's it's something that affects him 
in, you know, if he's doing high stress activities, I wouldn't doubt if he feels a little bit of it now. That's just my impression of it because he's obviously a tough guy. He's gone through crazy injuries and come back to play, you know, at a high level. Um, you know, so I would expect he feels some kind of impact now. Hard to know. I would say, you know, um, guys in their 20s can certainly recover, but I, I think, you know, he's a little bit, he's got a little bit to worry about, you know, probably in the next 10, 15 years, I would guess, just guessing out there from the amount of hits he took and everything else. You know, Doc, uh, as we visit with Dr. Josh Bell from uh, TSAOG Orthopedics and Spine, throughout the times that, that you've been on with us through the last couple of years, we've talked a lot about the hip drop tackle. Obviously, the Tony Pollard one against San Francisco in that playoff game two years ago. I don't know if this is effectively going to be known as the Tony Pollard rule, like the horse collar was the Roy Williams rule, you know, just from that Cowboys connection. Yeah. But from a medical standpoint, you know, one per game uh, is what they were saying was happening last year um, and, and 15 injuries out of 18. Uh, but of all the every game played last year, there was at least one of those tackles that led to 15 injuries. When you saw that that rule was passed, and I know defensive players are mad as hell about that, but from a medical standpoint, was this the right thing to do for the NFL? I think you have to. You know, when you just you look at you look at how some of these rosters, and we were talking about, you know, the players that that the late that, that the Cowboys are losing early, not from a specific injury, but anytime you see a consistent injury that 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 play is consistently leading to injuries that are, that are affecting guys, careers, livelihoods, everything else. You, you have to at least consider whether or not this makes sense. You know, so we ho I, mean, I know they have a great medical staff just at the NFL in general, but you just look at the numbers of what it is. It's the same thing when they, when they used to let you lead with your head, they let you do a lot of things that we know now we, we, we look back at it and go, man, I can't believe they would let them do that. So I think with the, just the percentage injury that you get with an injury like, uh, with a move like that or a, or, a, or, a, or a play like that, you have to really look at it and say, you know, if you want to have a league that's, that's, that's viable over the long run, you've you got to have safety as some component of it. It's never going to be completely safe because you've got 300-pound men who can run four eights now. So, I mean, you're always going to have a lot of collisions, which is exciting for the game. But that injury level that happens with that particular play, I think, is what probably – to, you know, click them to make it, to make the call. Yeah. Very, very interesting and see how it's going to play out. Dr. Josh Bell, I always appreciate the time and the knowledge and the insight. Okay. Thanks guys. Take appreciate care. It, guys. Dr. Josh Bell with the injury update powered by the sports Institute at TSAOG orthopedics and spine online at TSAOG.com. Dr. Bell as all our guests on the buyer's barricades guest line where they provide traffic control rental and sales. For San Antonio and beyond, they are online at buyersbarricades.com. We got a pair of Valero Texas Open tickets oh, to give away nice. before we leave. Yeah. Valero Texas Open. These are for Saturday. These Perfect. Saturday third round tickets. Now, if you don't win them, you can always buy them, ValeroTexasOpen.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But these tickets are yours right now. If you're caller number 9, 210 656 ESPN 656. 3776 caller 9 you win tickets to the Valero Texas Open Saturday's third round action. Uh, it's going to be a, look even if you don't like golf. Honestly, it is a great place to go and just have a lot of fun. Uh my goodness, you walk around, you people watch, you have food, there's drink, there's everything else and 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 it's just a blast out there. It's uh, a lot of fun. It is. Yep. Caller 9 those tickets are yours. 210-656 ESPN. 656 Extra innings with Pledge next here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. You're riding with a blitz. Afternoons 2 to 6.